everyone. Welcome to the very first episode of the Shutterbugs podcast, the show where three toy photographers talk about everything and anything geeky. My name is Finn, and I am joined by my co-hosts, Aiden. Hey. And Alex. Hey, hey, you already know who it is. Hey. hey. It's good to see you guys. How are you guys doing tonight? Hey, I'm dope. I'm dope right now. And I am good. amazing as well. Good Saturday. Great. That, yeah, it's been a good it's been a good Saturday so far. I'm not working. I'm really excited to dive into this episode with you guys. You guys, you guys ready? Definitely. Yep. Okay, let's do it. Let's get into our pickups. Who wants to go first? I, I think you can go first, Finn. Me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll we're go started. first. <laughs> pickups and binges is our next section where we talk about everything that we've gotten this week, toy related, anything like that, and all the stuff we've binged. So all the shows we've watched, all the movies we've seen. All the comics we've read, that kind of stuff. And I have a lot of toys recently, so I'm excited to get into these. The first thing I picked up was the Marvel Legends Miles Morales Spider-Man figure. And so that's the one from the Amazing Spider-Man 1 movie wave that had like the lizard and the really crappy Amazing Spider-Man suit figure and all that stuff. It was really fun. It came with like a web shield. But basically, I bought this figure back then in like 2012, and it was one of the first Legends I ever got. It was when it, Legends were still $15, which is crazy to think about that's I'm crazy yep yeah back in the day oh my goodness but um <laughs> so I already had, yeah seriously so i already had this guy and i found him again for like three dollars at the store that i used to work at that lives that's kind of near where i live it's called like the exchange and basically they sell like movies video games records um cds toys that kind of stuff comics like all this stuff and just crammed into the small store and so they had this guy and a bunch of other figures that I'm going to get to in a second. And he was marked down to like $3 loose. He didn't come with anything, but I mean, I already had all the other stuff, so I got him. And it's really sweet. The uh, legs suck. Like, it's the old, like, are they T joints where you have to, like, move the thing or are they Y joints? I hate those. I hate those so much. I think uh, they're <laughs> burning passion. Uh. Yeah, they're trash. I think they're Y joints, if I think, if I remember correctly. I don't know what but, they yeah. are. Trash. It's like that, and then like the ab crunch is yeah. terrible. You can't move up his head at all. Like you can't even move it barely. It's basically just that, <laughs> like a static. But it's a sweet figure. I mean, I like the, I really like the eyes. Like I think it looks fine. It just has like a weird hunch. But I mean, for three dollars, you can't really complain. And then when I was also there, I found some Black Series Stormtroopers from the First Order. This was like a week later, but I mean, I found them. So some yeah. stormtroopers. They had like the Ray, the Kylo, the um, Poe Dameron, BB-8, all that stuff, and they were all like five bucks. But I picked up these two guys for five bucks each. And honestly, like you can never go wrong with stormtroopers. You can never, you can never have too many stormtroopers. True that. Seriously. Yep. So I had two to begin with. I had two, and then I had the flame trooper. And now I had to have two more random stormtroopers. They came with their guns and stuff. But yeah, five bucks. Are these wait? Which stormtroopers are these? First order or imperial? So they are the first order ones. If if they were the normal ones, oh my goodness, I love the first order ones. But like, dude, the first the the original original trilogy figures were much better in my opinion than the first order figures. Oh, for sure. Well, it's also like the problem with the first order ones that they're so much more limited in articulation too. Like they don't even have double jointed elbows. You know what I mean? Like the helmets don't barely move as much as the old ones do. And honestly, I'm kind of happy. Like, if I had to pick one to have the articulation, I'd much rather have it be the original trilogy figures, just because I like the original trilogy more. Yeah, you know. Yeah, for sure. But I think the I think that the paint is all right on them. I mean, they they're five bucks each, so I can't I can't complain at all. But they're cool. Um, I already yeah, have the right and stuff. I've always liked the design of the first order troopers. I just wish that yeah. the black series made the figures better because I I there's a part yeah. of me that does like the first order design a little bit better as far as the helmets are concerned yeah in the original trilogy design but yeah i feel yeah i think i actually i think i actually like the original trilogy ones more i think like the stormtrooper helmet dude is like my oh my gosh it's so i love the helmet design i think the first order one like a lot of people like it and stuff and i think it's great it took me a while to get over the fact that it looked kind of like a duck <laughs> you know what i mean i had like the duck's bill and stuff it was all never gonna be able to unsee that dude that when i first saw <laughs> that when, like the first trailer came out or whatever i was like what is this? Like, <laughs> what? oh my goodness, it's crazy. But I, I, lo- I do love the first order designs, and I love Kylo Ren's design and stuff. But I already had all those other figures from that wave, um. So I just picked up those guys. Yeah. And yeah. then another thing that I found. So I have like a couple more things. But so <laughs> they had a bunch of us like random loose figures, and apparently, like this was like two weeks after the stormtroopers. But 
when somebody had dropped off like a bunch of Batman figures, they had a bunch of the Mattel um, Dark Knight Rises Movie Masters figures, along with some like Dark yep. Knight ones. And so the first one I got, it was like two bucks. It was the Officer Blake, so like Robin or whatever from Dark Knight Rises. Such a strange character. <laughs> he's so ugly. Like his, I mean, the body is fine. The articulation is like Mattel, so it's kind of trash. But like his head is like so plain. Like he looks like Woody without the hat, and it's boring. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not. It's yeah. not the pinnacle of head sculpts. You know what I mean? I, I totally see it now. Now that you said he looks like Woody, I can't. A unsee little bit, it. right? A little bit. But um, that's hilarious. It's 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 not a bad figure. Like I mean, two bucks. I mean take my money but uh i bought him because he's a police you know uh he's in a police uniform and so i'm like well if i'm army building people what would be great would be a police officer and so i just got a random police officer um just to like look good with like thugs and stuff like that like it looks really sweet so i got that um and then i also found a raza ghoul figure which again <laughs> his it's supposed to be liam neeson it supposed it to the key word there supposed yeah. to Aiden's right. Supposed to be is the key <laughs> phrase. Exactly. Um, he looks like a creeper with like a weird goatee. <laughs> <laughs> it's like weird. It's weird. But hear me out. He was like three bucks, and he's wearing a suit. So uh, hey, now I had now I have three suited figures. I had the Coulson, I have the Chameleon, and now I have uh, weird Liam Neeson. And so I mean, for three bucks, you get a new suited figure. I am not mad at that at all. You could use the head as a meth addict on another body or something. Oh, man. Exactly. You're giving me ideas right now. I actually have a shot I was working on that I finished where it's like Daredevil. This was like a week ago, but I have like Daredevil beating up some Hydra goons. And then I had the, um, I had him like sitting down in the back somewhere. And then I had like Officer Blake being like, stop. But it <laughs> cut out looks, if you guys remember what I'm talking about, that was the where I had like the cut out, like go over his face. I saw I that. Put, like, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause there was no it was out in the open, so there's nowhere for me to put the cutout. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so cut yeah, I don't know. Awful sometimes. It looks kind of trash. Like the actual it's, it was supposed to be like paneled, but like the panels look kind of trash. So I think I'm just gonna go with like the actual photo of Daredevil trying to beat up the guy. So that that'll look cool. It's like a Hydra soldier. But then the last um movie masters figure I found, and these are like a week apart. So like every single figure is like the, I did not just go there and find all this stuff. Like I, I keep going like a couple times a week, and then this last time I found someone turned in like a bunch of like the, um, what was it? The DC Collectibles Arkham Knight series stuff. So they and and Arkham and Arkham uh, City stuff. So they had like the, oh my gosh, what's the Anarchy? Is that his name? The arson guy who has like, yeah, um, yeah, I yeah, think so. yeah. He is that yeah. character. That figure was sweet, but it was like fifteen bucks. So I did I passed on. And they had like the Ra's al Ghouls. They had like the two pack of like the original Dark Knight one where it's like Heath Ledger's Joker who it's so plain. Like Heath Ledger's Joker figure in that is so it it's like they just yeah run like a color wheel and just like picked like the most boring colors ever. Right. And it's so ugly. They had that stuff, but I found something cool. They had a Joker goon from I, that line. Yeah. It was like it, this one was more expensive. This one was like eight bucks because they had like the it was the Joker mask. They had like the weird like little yeah, mohawk. Yeah, I have that figure as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, he's sick. And you, yeah. um, yeah, I mean, it was like eight bucks, but it was worth it. Another suited body that I can use. And you commented on like my story when I posted it that like his head is impossible re to remove. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your experience with trying to remove his head? Like, what what was going on? Okay, so like I heated it up and I was like doing it in a pit. Like, if you look up in it, the ball peg is like so small, it's unreal. Jeez. It's like it's so weird. So, I kept like trying and trying, and I was eventually like, you know what, I'm just gonna use him as a Joker goon because there's no way I'm getting this off without it like snapping or something. Um, dude, that happens. I had a um, yeah. do you know the red skull like face off figure I had? I don't know if you had, yeah. that, but it's like the one where he's like in the blue suit. Yeah, yeah, I, I have not I, seen that one. Okay, so it's really weird. I got this from a friend named Keith um, who lives in, like, Florida. But he's, like, it's a face-off red skull, but he's in this, like, weird spiky, like, blue, like, suit of armor. And he has, like, a weird <laughs> yelling face. <laughs> what comic was that based off of? Uh, dude, it's so <laughs> ugly. And his head is so small. And it has, like, the worst Toy Biz, like, proportions ever. But basically, I was like, okay, I want to use this head. I want to see if I can, like, fit this head on a different body so I can have an actual, like, red skull. And when I was trying to remove it, like it just the the peg just snapped in half, and I was so bummed because it's such an ugly figure, and I love having. It. <laughs> I love messing around with it, but it was a bummer. Okay, so yeah, enough of freaking Mattel figures because I'm 
I'm sick of Mattel. I do not like Mattel. I, I don't like them either. They could be so much better yeah. than they are, but it's just trash. It's just trash. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, the only Mattel figures are just for props for WWE. That's right. it. Trash much, um, the new ones, the new DC figures aren't looking too bad. Like the one with like, the bat. Oh, the new line that's coming out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, those are cool. I mean, wow, it's the first time they've ar- updated their articulation in like eight years. So Right. I mean, yeah, the Black Manta that just uh, recently yeah, came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I, I kind of want to pick that up. Although I'm not the biggest Aquaman person. You know, I'm more Namor on the side of yeah. Atlantis Kings, yeah. but. You know. Dude, that Black Manta head sculpt is so. I like. I like that look of Black Manta, where it's like the two eyes. Yeah, yeah. And it has yeah. like the black all around. Because I don't like when it's like black suit and then like pure silver head. <laughs> right. Yeah. So no. Boring. Uh, okay. <laughs> but the last thing I picked up, I got this thing a couple like a little bit ago. But I got it from my good friend on Instagram, D Amazing. Um, he hooked it up never for retail. What'd you say? <laughs> I said never heard of him before. Oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Dude, I'm serious. If you guys, we'll put his link in the description. But he always, he always has sales and stuff on imports. Like they're almost always retail, which is good because this figure goes for like 150, and I got it for 80. Bro, so, bro. I mean, I had, I'd saved up for a while from like senior senior photo shoots and stuff like this, so I was like really excited to get this guy. And it is the Revel Tech Carnage, and I'm bro. so excited. I kind of hate you a little bit because you have it, and I've seen yeah. pictures that you've taken with it. I like I hate you, but I'm kind of hypocritical because of what I just got recently. Yeah, I was about to say, don't don't you even yeah, talk, man. You, you just can't gotta talk grow. at all. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for Aiden over you here. Just He's got, got nothing. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, seriously. Wow. But so, so um, relationships. Pretty much. So it's the uh, Revel Tech Carnage figure. Um, um, but yeah, Alex, you're not allowed to talk based on what you got, <laughs> which we're gonna talk about later today because i'm i mean mine is pretty sweet not but yours is yours is legendary <laughs> yeah, for real. But, um i've been taking a lot of photos with this guy i mean m- my favorite figure probably of all time is the revel tech spider-man and then i also have the venom and so it's like they they all just work so well together i'm having a blast taking like maximum carnage shots and stuff like that like separation anxiety photos like it's so sweet oh my goodness i sent i posted a picture that got like nine over 900 likes which is crazy on instagram where it's like him like bending down over Spider Man with like his just like screaming at him pretty much. That Do you guys know what photo so I'm talking about? Beautiful. That was just yep. gorgeous, man. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I didn't. I should bring up my photos more often. No, I'm just kidding. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah. I was like, okay, okay, keep it going. No, but um, yeah, he's so dude. He's incredible, and the range of motion is just insane. It's, it's insanity. Like the only I've ran into just a couple problems, and is they're very minor. Like. So one of the things, which is nice, his wrist pegs are all the same for all the axes, for all the, like, so I have, like, 10 of his wrist pegs. So if one of them breaks, it's not to worry because I have the exact same one in, like, 10 different times, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the problem is, they're already in all of the axes and stuff. So what would be nice if it, like, just came with a bunch of spares and they were all just, like, sockets that I could plug the wrist pegs into. But since they're already in there, I have to, like... I can't remove them from like the wrist because they're like really hard to remove on his wrists. But it comes with this plastic tool that's like a hook that you can like help pull out the stuff. And it's already really hard to pull out the pegs. But then like if you do it the wrong way, it starts to like stress the plastic of the um, hook thing. Mm-hmm. And it, so it's like really so it's like really difficult. So I feel like it's almost like limiting the stuff that the shots that I'm taking just be- by a tiny bit, just because like I don't want to go through all that trouble. Right, I feel you. Just yeah. so I can have two axes. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes uh, Adam Smith in the group has gotten on me for not switching goon heads, and I'm like, yeah, but sometimes I gotta heat them up, and I'm really lazy. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I feel like you. you, you, you do a good job of, like, you have so many different bodies for the goons that it's like, I mean, it's rare that you're ever just like, oh, it's this guy again. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've used the suit guy, the, the one chameleon that I have, mm-hmm. like, 800 times, but everybody else, I try to alternate because I I'm like slightly OD- OCD with my pictures, but nothing else. <laughs> so. sure. No, I feel that. But um, one of the, actually, if you guys know Jay J Energon, I think on Instagram, he was he was selling so many figures these last couple days. He sold like two Shield Agents and an SH Figure Arts um, Age of Ultron cap or whatever for like forty bucks. Bro, and then he sold like two chame- like a Chameleon and a, a Coulson and a Nick Fury for like twenty something. Bro. Oh my god, I'm so done. I know. Oh, and then <laughs> you saw, like, I, if I was there, 
if I was there and saw that when it was still when it wasn't bought, like do you see the comments? There's like ten that are like claim, claim, claim. Yeah, like, yeah, bro, it's already sold. <laughs> like well, I was there was so like sorry. Five just like that in a mezco dr- group who was like local only and he had like the mezco punishers going for like 60 and like 70 dollars and like all, all the mezcos and it was local only and like no one lived by him and everyone was like oh my god you can't just ship dude like what the hell pay for, me, bro, for shipping <laughs> yeah seriously i will pay you to ship like i will i will send money in an envelope <laughs> exactly <laughs> gotcha like Hand such delivered. Good- <laughs> i will drive there oh just bro to- i don't yeah, I don't care if you live in freaking Iran. I'm flying there to get those mess <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with living there. That I bet you that's an awesome place. I was just thinking the rate, first place that came to mind. But um, either way, Car- <laughs> Rebel Tech Carnage. This is one of the, like, it's so much fun. And it's just crazy. Like, I love the eyes. The eyes are so big and wide. And that's how I like them. You know what I mean? But then he also has, like, the mean, like, thin eyes that are really, sque- yeah. they're really sweet. The one eyes that I never... I never catch myself using they have the same ones with venom where it's like one is like closed and one is open so it's like he's kind of like going like huh yeah you know what i'm saying like, like, that cool that does i don't think that works for anybody else you know not really i don't want venom dude. like it doesn't look cool so i wish they that was one of my problems with venom is that they came with two eye options one of them was his normal eyes and the other one was that and i've never used that like why it doesn't even look good I, it's too silly for such a serious m- murderer character. Yeah, bro. He jokes and stuff. Yeah, it's like really sadistic, yeah. but it's too silly. It looks like a cartoon almost. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like Carnage is cracking jokes. I mean, he's a he's like like, but it's like sadistically scary when he makes jokes. Like he's not just like, oh, right. dude, Carnage yeah. is hilarious. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody reads like Carnage USA and is like, man, dude. Carnage and Deadpool should like <laughs> nobody. <laughs> nobody. It's so dumb. Like that. Yeah. That. That's that really makes me mad. But either way, I give it like I give all these figures except for the Miles Morales. I'll give him like two FPS. But I'll give all these other ones like five FPS for like five frames per second, just because they're so awesome. I mean, especially the Joker goon and the Rebel Tech. Like everything else is in between like the three to four range. But oh. And if you guys didn't know our rating system, it's like five stars, but instead of stars, it's frames, frames per second. <laughs> Does that make sense? Right. Corny but effective is my motto. <laughs> Very effective, because I love it. Um, but yeah, so I'll give the Joker Goon and Carnage both five, and then I'll give everyone else between like two to four stars. Um, FPS, F- uh, frames, frames per second. <laughs> You're getting the rating. I mean, it was my fault because I just said it's effective. stars. <laughs> Uh, I screwed myself okay. over. Uh, but yeah, um, last thing I got, I'll be really quick, um, is the uh, for my binges, I've been reading the Amazing Spider-Man run. It's by Nick Spencer. And then Ryan Otley did the art for the first five issues. And then Humberto Ramos did the last did the art for the next five. So like the last two issues that are already out. Uh, Ramos is one of my favorite comic artists, period. And so same. it's really... Dude, it's yeah. so... I love... I mean, the way he draws human faces is all right, but the way he draws like mass characters and Spider Man and stuff is it's, it's incredible. And yeah. so having him on the covers and in the actual interior art feels like it's reminiscent of like the 2014 or whatever run that Dan Slott did after Superior, and it's really awesome, and I love it. The only person I think is as good to me is like Ryan Stegman. Like Ryan Stegman is incredible. He did like a lot of the Superior artwork, especially like the first five issues. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I think yeah, yeah, yeah. so. It's it's been a long time since I'm, I read the superior stuff, so that's one of my favorite runs ever. Oh my goodness! Later on, I'm gonna send you guys some images. Like it's it's incredible, but yeah. So the book basically is following around Peter Parker, Spider Man, um, after Secret Empire and stuff like that, and after uh, crap. What does this take place after? Either way, <laughs> either way. Um, uh, I I'm just, I'm trying to remember the timeline right now, but it takes place like during Secret Empire, after Secret Empire. Um, it's really good. It's basically back to basics, Peter Parker. It's after the Spider Man worldwide stuff. And so it's basically him back with Mary Jane, back like living in an apartment, struggling for rent money kind of thing. His roommate, uh, his roommates are Randy Robertson, for, he went to high school with, and then he's roommate with the supervillain Boomerang, which is super crazy. And it's like the Boomerang like civilian identity. So basically, like he, he doesn't know that Peter Parker Spider Man. Nobody does, but like Spider Man knows that he's Boomerang kind of thing. And it's like he's famous because he like got in good with the kingpin after secret empire and so he's like a good guy now it's crazy it's crazy but it's super good basically these last two issues have been like boomerang takes spider-man well peter parker to this bar 
for supervillains called like the bar with no name. And basically what happens is that he knows Peter Parker was a photographer for Spider-Man. And so um, they do like Spider-Man trivia night. And Peter Parker like, gets all the <laughs> questions right while the Kingpin puts out like um, a, like a dollar mount on Boomerang's head to have him killed. And so they all turn on them. And it's 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 bananas. It's so good. But um, yeah, five FPS for this book. Like it's it's my favorite book out right now that I'm reading. I'm only reading a couple others, but I mean, I read Spider Geddon issue zero and one, and I really like that as well. But yeah, it's really awesome. Yeah. So I rambled on long enough. Who wants to talk next? I think I think I'll go next because mine is so so short in comparison. To- <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, I, yeah, it's like a lot of stuff. So get in there, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so if you follow me on Instagram at Alex N Richardson, um, a couple weeks ago I picked up the NECA 1990 Pennywise, which uh, is a fantastic, yeah. thing, in my opinion. You know, uh, if you know me, I like really creepy looking characters and i especially like them when i can just use them as like normal people like hey he just looks like a clown you know the 2017 version i think he looks more like a creepy mythical beast so just having him as just a clown i think that's creepier in my opinion because it's it's more real you know the realer it is the creepier it is to me so i had a lot of fun with that figure I i took about i think it was about four photos with him i really enjoyed taking those i just i got the opportunity to be very bizarre just for no reason other than hey why not four (laughs) photos you posted buddy we all know you took way more than (laughs) photos facts don't you like alex don't you like take them that day and then like post them like and is that like what is that how you do your thing yeah i I post them i i post them the day i took them pretty much so yeah i i I took it the day i posted so. That's just that's crazy because like how I and I mean everyone does it their own way. How I do it is I like I have like probably a thousand over a thousand photos in my backlog in my phone right now ready to post just because it's like I do so many a lot of simple shots like simple setups right. you know what I mean yeah. like here's background yeah. figure work on the actual camera settings that kind of stuff that it's like I have so much but like I'm also doing it off a of camera but that that's kind of one of the benefits of doing it on your phone like you post a behind the scenes and then six hours later it's up right yeah, yeah. that was really sick. Yeah, for for me, I I'm burnt out after one photo for some reason. A lot of times, uh, it it just takes it out of me. Depending on what it is, like if it's a whole bunch of civilians sitting somewhere, you know, I feel like they f- they fell down too many times. Where I'm just frustrated at that point. So a lot of times, I, a day I just stop at one. I pretty much do them every day. So, um, but but yeah, I, I pretty much only took those four photos actually, Aiden. Um, yeah. I wow, want it. That's crazy. Surprise. That's but, like um, I never do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I'm an I'm an oddball when it comes to some of this stuff. But uh, so yeah, I got that a couple weeks ago, and then uh, I hardly pick up things regularly. So there was like nothing after that. But then I my got- ears are tuned out right now because I know what you're gonna say I'm not even. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Hey, Aiden, let's go have our own call just for out of yeah, exactly. Jealousy. Wow. The hate. The jealousy. The jealousy. <laughs> but uh, I got my holy grail, the Mezco 112 Collective Punisher, the original one. Oh. <laughs> a, a friend of mine hooked me up. Uh, he helped me get one. He found a really good deal, and uh, I was Ooh. I was super stoked. I've been wanting that figure since it came out. I'm a huge huge Punisher fan. I'm a huge street characters type of person. You know, if you've seen my, if you follow me for a while, you've seen my bullseye stuff. So people pretty much know that I'm a street level characters person. So I, I've wanted that figure for so long. And when I finally got it, uh, I haven't been super happy with the photos I posted with him yet, but um, yeah. I, I, Don't sell yourself short. That bullet one yeah. was, like tossing of the bullets. Okay, too. how did you do that? I still don't know how you did that. Was it that like plastic, a right? Piece of, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it was plastic. I uh, there there was like a little group of bullets that came with cable. I think it was. I think that's who it came with. And uh, I cut them off of that, and I double sided taped them to a piece of clear plastic. And I made sure that I cropped out the top of the plastic where I cut it, because that's where you could mostly see the piece of plastic. But uh, once I cropped yeah. that, out, it was hard to. To sort of see the plastic holding up the bullets in that photo um Dude, you can yeah magician. 
<laughs> we, I mean, and for, here's a little tip for anyone who's looking to like do stuff like that. Like, I posted a video of this shot I was doing today with Bullseye throwing a card at Daredevil, and there's this like long strip of plastic holding it there. Honestly, if you just buy a Marvel Legend, that whole front plastic thing, like the covering of the character, perfect for that kind of stuff. Like, it's it's durable. It's not too thick. You can't cut through it with like basic scissors. Like right. I cut through it with like kid paper scissors, right. you know I mean? it's, and it works perfectly, and it's super clear. It's awesome. Yeah, I'd like I'm, to say that's why I keep all my boxes, but <laughs> I. What's weird is I keep them for that, but I also just keep them because oh look, I got the Jug Wave Wolverine. I want to save this yeah, box. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, I, I'm weird that's like. What that. I do. It's actually hilarious today. So I got, I had. If you guys saw my Instagram a while ago, I'm going to keep saying that. I posted that photo of like three towers of boxes that i had like <laughs> i got rid of yeah. five garbage bags full of them like crushed like i stomped on all of them so they were yes. crushed in there and then i only had a couple left and the one that i used today was the juggernaut wolverine box <laughs> what are the crazy? Oh, wow that's crazy that's wow. <laughs> but uh that's yeah hilarious. yeah so I, I got that um i'm hoping i'm hoping to do another shot with plastic um like that i'm I guess I guess I'll share it with you guys. I'm thinking of doing a sh a shot where he's getting shot at, um, and I'm kind of That'd thinking cool. I might want to stick some bullets on some streaks of plastic, almost like they're coming at him. Some are missing, maybe yeah. some are hitting, hitting his vest and stuff like that. Like he's screaming. That's the sort of idea I have. I probably just jinxed it now that I've said it out loud. Yeah, I think I'm gonna <laughs> steal that. Man. I think I'm gonna steal that one. <laughs> real quick, I'm just gonna log off and just shoot it real fast and post it. But, oh, for sure. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm loving that Punisher figure. It looks the camera does not do that thing justice. It looks so gorgeous in person. The eyes they have a wonderful gloss to them where it looks real. Even the screaming head, his mouth is open. It looks like the inside of his mouth is actually wet, which sounds really creepy. But yeah, yeah pause like that. What the finger in there and trying to like touch it, and he's like, "It's not damp. What?" <laughs> <laughs> if you can fit like, his taking, like a little cloth and he's like trying to like <laughs> dab at it and like wipe it off right. I'm, I'm just sitting in a corner just doing that like <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> wet <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, i got those two figures and I, like i said it wasn't much um as far as my binges um i've told you guys this before but uh not on the podcast yeah. uh, i've uh just started reading uh the hellboy comics recently i haven't read any other comics before i never even watched any of the movies i don't know why to be perfectly honest but uh i i just started reading it it, it seems interesting right now um i haven't gotten to any bits of action or anything yet it's all just kind of you know the beginning of it i kind of made it to um since i got the mezco punisher i've been reading garth ennis's run on marvel knights punisher and Punisher Max. I've lo I love those. I've read both of them like 10 times each already. So uh, yeah, it, it's been fun rereading those because I. if you follow me on Instagram, I, I've said that like 12 times already, but if you follow me on Instagram, me <laughs> you know that I, I like to write out stories and stuff. I was about to say yeah. every post you have is like <laughs> at least a paragraph long. <laughs> you bring your reader glasses because you're going to be sitting there for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, so cool. I've, I've backed off on that a lot more recently um when i first started to get slightly decent at photos it was like every single one of them was a story but then when the photos started getting better i feel like i felt like they needed less of that okay but this is the funniest thing is when i asked you for a caption for my photo you literally <laughs> replied with your caption when all of yours are like paragraphs long and i was like okay alex, Bro, alex has written a book like the punisher war <laughs> journal entry like it's lit yeah, exactly. it's a scroll. it covers my whole screen like i have an iphone 8 bro this thing is small and it covers my entire screen but then <laughs> I'm like, caption oh and you're just God. like like whatever it was two words i was like <laughs> yes that'll do that'll See, do I thought you were thinking in terms of, oh, I need like a title for this photo type of caption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was just I, like, I like like quick, like snappy. I mean, although if you're trying, yeah. I've done that. Like I've done long quotes or like if you're trying to tell a story with a photo, then by all means use like the long yeah. format. Yeah. yeah but like sure. if you're just trying to throw up a photo and don't know what to title it, then like. Right. That, is fine. That's what I thought Aiden was saying in the group. Like, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's why hilarious. I did like a three letter. <laughs> thing that is so funny is so funny okay. yeah but um I, so i've been reading the punisher stuff and uh i 
I meant to go read the Spider-Man stuff that you were talking about, Finn. Um, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't read a whole lot of modern stuff when it comes to Marvel and DC because, you know, I think they've fallen off. My favorite era was the, you know, the Joe Casada, you know, uh, Civil War and, and Dark Reign and Dark Avengers. That, that was my favorite era. Dude, I that, that era is so, oh my goodness, Dark Reign and then um, Siege and yeah. stuff. Yeah. The only one that, the one event yeah. I didn't really like is I don't really like Fear Itself very much. Like, yeah, I, I wasn't big on that either. Some people love Fear Itself. Like, it's like their freaking Bible. I just don't, <laughs> I don't really care about Asgard very much. Like, I love Thor and that kind of stuff, but it's not really my favorite. And I th I totally agree with you. Like, that's like around, I mean, my one of my favorite runs ever is like Dan Slott's run and then Superior Spider-Man. And then I'm also a huge fan of like, you know, other stuff like that. Um, But I think that. The, the standout right now has been Secret Empire, which was recently, like, a year ago. And then the Spider-Man run right now is incredible. And then the Avengers run is really good, too. Okay, yeah. I have to I have to catch up on some stuff. I've, I've kind of fallen off. I've, I've read more modern comics. Like, th this isn't even in my binges, but uh, stuff like uh, Kill or Be Killed. I think okay. that, was an, that was an image thing uh, that was written by Ed Brubaker. Brubaker was the one that... He's awesome. Uh, he wrote Captain America, right? Yeah, he was the one that introduced Winter Soldier. Yeah into stuff i love sure. brew breaker stuff brew and he brew breaker. did he write um when captain america died death of captain america and all that stuff afterwards i, I don't remember he may have i don't i don't remember he's really uh, off awesome. i love brew baker he's awesome. yeah yeah but he but he wrote kill or be killed which was a really great story we can talk about that later on but i i really enjoyed that story but um yeah that's that's probably it for my pickups and binges um, I like I said, I don't really pick up stuff that often because I'm living that broke life. <laughs> so. Well, like I said, this has been over the fa the span of like a month or a month and a half. Like, I mean, I didn't even talk about the Legends Doc Ock or the Legends thing that I picked up. Like, I mean, right? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to flex, bro. Listen to me. I'm not. Trying to flex. <laughs> I mean, I've, out of all this stuff besides the carnage that I paid for literally a month ago, like I've spent maybe like. 30 bucks on all this stuff like it's it's a lot of deals and stuff you know what i mean right yeah I, yeah yeah i need to move to where you are at if, if they got three dollar stuff that's my whole budget right there yeah, it's know. rare it's so i mean it's i i i spend so much time just driving around going to new places and just like coming up with nothing <laughs> right I feel, yeah i feel you on that but i ate it did you want to get into your stuff okay yeah so <laughs> so i talked to you guys about this but i'll kind of recite it um Marvel Legend wise, I picked up the thing like a lot of collectors did, like Finn did as mm -hmm. well, which is an awesome figure for sure. Then I also got my pre order in from Entertainment Earth, which was the Archangel, which again is an amazing figure, especially looks, since I didn't get the first run. He looks incredible. I um, want that so yeah. bad. That in I know they use it on Adam film. Warlock, but like the colors of like his face sculpt and stuff yes. are so sweet. Yeah. I'm a really big fan of that figure. So yeah, and then like I told you guys, I kind of went a little crazy in the Ma uh, Mayfex category, <laughs> and I picked up a lot of the Batman line. And I did a photo with um, I think my favorite out of all the figures I got, which was the Mayfex 3.0 Batman, which is like the Dark Knight kind of um suit based off of. And I love that figure. He photographs amazing, and like the sculpt and just everything makes me like geek out over that figure. And Mayfax is still kind of working with their QC issues, like the ankle is a little loose, but like it's nothing at all that kills the quality of the figure. The same yeah. with the Joker and Bane and everyone. So nothing like the yeah. old one that like the arm kept falling off. Yes, exactly. <laughs> or the exactly. breakage. Yeah, and the nice thing also yeah, is some of like I think the best part of it is like the suited body. So Scarecrow so far and the bank robber Joker, when the arms come off and like that kind of thing, and you can remove like the vest and stuff, it allows a lot more. Um, like kit bashing to like occur and like painting and like if it's kind of removable but like for figures like batman joker it's just a pain if like everything falls off so luckily they haven't like really tightened down on their issues with that which is super cool and then now mafex is experimenting which kind of i like it but i also don't because it means you need to get more figures with these interchangeable parts for other figures like the bruce wayne off of the dark knight series that drops um like in march i believe he comes with like the batman begins like masked head for the batman begins figure like in the beginning of the movie when he's wearing the hockey like the oh, ski mask yeah. thing 
And then uh, he also comes with like when um in the Dark Knight, like when he's in Hong Kong about to jump off the building, like he comes with like the pieces that goes on his belt and like that just chess piece without the cape. So like they're just like packing in all these accessories that like go with other figures to make them better. So again, like I like how amazing and dynamic and like all the options you have, but it's kind of a pain that one Mayfex, Mayfex is expensive, which means you have to get more figures and spend more money. But yeah, so that was Mayfex. And then this week, I didn't pick up much. I picked up the Crossbones Captain America 2-pack, which is an amazing 2-pack. The Chris Evans head sculpt is oh, so yeah. much better than they've ever done. I want that um, Crossbones really bad. Like, yeah, I don't crossbones care about the cap. I love. Yeah, I don't really care about the cap. I'm just happy I have a sort of MCU one now in my collection. And mm -hmm. then the Crossbones, I wanted one for kind of... I was hoping maybe Punisher kit bashes, but who knows? That head looks pretty good, and like a lot of the armor pieces you can use on goons and stuff, and then and just the crossbones figure in general for crossbones looks great as well. Yeah, I really wish he was he was single packed. I'm kind of angry that yeah. he's two pack. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, yeah, and I then, messed up on the um. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, 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 no. You're good, Finn. Keep I going. was uh, I was walking through Target one day. This was like a couple weeks ago, and I was I was so broke. Like I, <laughs> money's very scarce. You know what I mean? But I'm I'm gonna be serious. And I found the two pack. It was on clearance for twenty five bucks, and I had to pass on it. I was so so. Oh, that's I was so <laughs> hurt. I was so hurt. But I was like, no. I'm gonna be paying 25 bucks for a figure, the cap that I'm never gonna use, and then a figure that I mean, like, I don't need MCU figures. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. 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 I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. I feel the same way about the uh, the Winter Soldier and Falcon two pack because I want that Winter yes. Soldier. You know, I saw Adam Smith's little kit bash of him. Uh, he yep. put it, um, like a month ago or something. I was like, yo, I need that figure now. Yeah. For real. I just want Falcon wings for my Falcon cap. That's all I care about. I don't care about yeah. the musty <laughs> Falcon. I just want his wings. <laughs> well, I had like both Falcon. the original releases of those figures, and I was like, do I really want to pay to get them again? Right. And like, I know the face printing technology and everything so much better, but I'm like, do I really need to get them again? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, the last thing I got, which I got yesterday, um, as you guys know, 796 Studios, I believe Al um, one of you guys are mentioning him in a photo uh, when we get to the end. But he's an awesome dude in the discords and just in ACBA in general. And he actually, after I was talking on the discord, Alex or, or Finn, you probably remember, mm -hmm. but um, I was talking about flight stands. And like Poncho and everyone, we were talking about when Boog was going to like put one on the website. And he said later this year they were dropping. And I was like, yeah, okay. Because <laughs> like every time I try to go with hangers, one, I can't find wire hangers anywhere. Cleaners, and like bro. the wire hangers I find are like these really freaking huge ones with like velvet <laughs> around them. That's like impossible yeah. to take apart. So I'm like, yeah, not going to happen. And then I tried with like flagpoles. And let's just say nothing like at all. Wait, like, it was, it was like not okay, not like poles, but like you know, like the stuff you wave around on Fourth of July, like the little flags. Oh, oh gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, was and like, that was. <laughs> yeah, bro, this <laughs> real life <laughs> ACBA. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. So I was, um, and then he was kind enough to send me actually on a story, which I didn't even see until he sent it. That he was actually he made a run of about like six or seven flight stands of all different sizes, super tall to super short. And um, so yeah, so I bought a uh, pack of those from him yesterday, and those shipped out today. So I'm super oh, excited. Yeah, I, I'm seeing those, those right now. On his yeah, they're super nice. They're like twenty I'm bucks. I'm super like excited. Six. Yeah, you get like twenty bucks for hey. like six, and I was like, that's actually not a bad deal, especially because really on the ACB yeah. website you get that kind of deal too. And um, they look, I mean, people kind of make them shoddy because like they need to, and they still work, but his look really durable and stuff. And I was like, definitely wanna. Uh, pick up some of those so yeah mm -hmm. so got some of those and i think that was it awesome yeah, one thing i want to say yeah. real quick is you said how bug was saying that they're trying to put the put the uh stands back on the website i feel like he's been saying that for months yeah now. i know <laughs> yeah that's hilarious yeah, yeah he'd, be, he'd be slightly killing me sometimes he'd be like okay i'm, I'm gonna do a a, a main course for y'all and then it's like a year later that's <laughs> yeah. hilarious hey he's he a bit he just um just is putting one out this weekend, I believe. Main course. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I saw that on the Discord. I think that's sweet. Yeah, yeah I mean, Boog does so much. He's such, and he's a really cool guy. Like he does so much stuff that I'm like, yeah. I'll be like, come on, like where's this? And I'm like, man, he does so much other stuff. Like he's a freaking reason we're all doing this ACB right, stuff. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah. 
I'll yeah. cut them some slack. I'll cut them some slack. Does <laughs> right. anybody else have anything yeah, else right. they picked up or anything like that they want to talk about? We're all good? Uh, I, th- I think we're good. I- Okay, sweet. Well, next, we're going to get into our next section. It's called Screen Time. Basically, we're going to be talking about um, movies and all that fun news that's coming out for that kind of stuff, TV, all that exciting stuff. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it away. All right. um, So I'm going to start with the biggest news, in my opinion, which is the cancellation of not only Iron Fist, but Luke Cage as well by Netflix. Oof. (laughs) <laughs> that, now you see I wasn't surprised by Iron Fist because it wasn't all that well received in the first season the second season was pretty decent but not a whole lot of people watched it so I could see why that would be cancelled but Luke Cage blew my mind when I when I found that out <laughs> this morning like, what? <laughs> you know, yeah, seriously I, yeah. you know a lot of people have been saying oh they're, they're just going to do Heroes for Hire I, I think that's plausible and that, that would actually be kind of dope to me because both of the series is, to me had ups and downs. But uh, I really think that that's just Disney pulling stuff for, oh, their, 100%. Yeah, for their streaming service. I think they're like, hey, we need content. We need people to want to come give yeah. us more money than we need. <laughs> so why not rip stuff off of Netflix? Why not give Loki and Scarlet Witch a show that nobody asked? <laughs> yeah, nobody's gonna watch. Well, here's the thing about that. It's like, is it, first, I have two things. First of all, is it wrong that I wasn't really bummed? Like, I think that's in, in itself. Like, I was not really disappointed. I was like, oh man. Well, right, yeah. like, I'm not I'm sure. Sure. I watched like, yeah, seriously. <laughs> I watched like half of both second seasons and they were both fine. Just didn't really keep my interest. But like, think about it. They had Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, Daredevil, Punisher, and Defenders. That's freaking six whole well, series. Like, well, if they have to trim the fat a little bit to be able to put more time and effort into the other stuff, like, I think that's why Jessica Jones and Daredevil season ones were so good is because they were the only ones. I mean, Punisher season one, I think, was amazing too. But like, I mean, there's so much more time and care whenever you have such, you're not spreading yourself as thin. So, like, I'm thinking about it like this. Like, if they have to trim down the fat and cut those shows off, like, to make everything else better, I'm, I'm almost fine with it. Yeah, I, I feel you on that. I think the only reason that I'm yeah. a little bummed out about Luke Cage and a little bit about Iron Fist is because we hardly see shows that are so interconnected with other shows get canceled. Mm-hmm. So, I, you yeah. know, for me, I'm like, I, I still want to see Luke. Maybe not so Danny, but I still want to see Luke, you know, kind of running around and doing things and stuff like that. And, you know, making little cameos and appearing, For sure. you know, on screen with other characters. So it's kind of like, what happens to those characters? You know, I, I kind of, there's like, ah, I need this string of continuity. I need to know, well, what is Luke doing? Wouldn't Luke just come up and try and fight you know, this type of villain, if this villain is doing this, you know, I don't think they would just go away. You know, I always think too much about this type of stuff, but that that's one of the reasons why I was kind of bummed out a little bit by, by yeah. Luke. Well, I, you know, think, I think like with Luke Cage too, it's like, that's a prominent like TV show about a black superhero, which is right. super awesome. And the fact that that's kind of going away is kind of like, I mean, it's not like, I don't think that's the reason why or anything. It's just kind of a bummer that it's like, oh, well, something that's so inspiring for people who like don't have that many black superheroes to look up to on the screen and stuff and it's like you're just taking one of the biggest ones away yeah and it 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 really surprised me and that's why i think it's it's got to be either heroes for hire or disney pulling stuff for their service i don't think they're just gonna go away because um people watched luke cage like especially black Mm -hmm. people you know my 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 type of people you know they watched it (laughs) (laughs) you know they they actually watch the show there was actually a, a um, an amount of viewers um with iron fist you know they they said that there wasn't as many people that were watching iron fist especially in the second season so that that's another reason why it kind of surprised me was because black people if they find out there's somebody black in it they will just watch it you know but look at black <laughs> panther. look at black panther <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah seriously <laughs> but um, um yeah. so yeah Luke Cage and Iron Fist, I think, was the biggest news in my in my opinion. Um, also, the new Spider Man suit from Spider Man Far From Home. Yes, I really like that. We actually got a better look at it um, than just the set photos on Jimmy Kimmel. Was that last yep. night? I don't, I don't know. No, what that was like, that was like a week ago. I was, yeah, was going to say it's only like about half or two, like oh, half a week or something. Okay. Yeah, you know, I'm so out of the loop with stuff sometimes, but yeah, uh, we got a better look at it. I think it looks really good. 
Again, I, I've said it to you guys before. I really want them to pronounce the web lines more. Um, yeah. It, it, it irks me just a little bit. Because, you know, I don't need it to be like Raimi web lines. No, yeah, yeah. I've, and I really didn't feel like they pronounced it enough in the first Amazing Spider-Man suit. The second Amazing Spider-Man suit, they nailed it. You know, I, I kind of want stuff like that, where the web lines are kind of more pronounced. Because one of my issues with the homecoming slash civil war suit was that i felt like it looked too cartoonish it looked like there was too much cgi done to mm -hmm. it you know what i mean so I, I want it to look a little bit more real and i think the web lines and maybe more texture would actually help that and uh, they added some more texture to the suit um if you look at some of the photos and stuff uh yeah yeah but i, I don't know what you guys thought about the the suit or anything did you have any thoughts so. i like the suit a lot i Definitely. I think it like did a good job kind of being like close to the one from Homecoming. So you can see the inspiration, but it's still like and it looks good. And like Poncho was saying, he was saying that it's kind of a like it kind of looks like a homage to like Miles a little bit. Yeah. Which I can definitely see for sure. But I just I like I like the way it's going. Yeah, they yeah. definitely have pulled a lot of Miles stuff. Oh for, yeah, well, look at the gloves. I mean, not, not even just the suit, but just some of his story. Like uh, Ned looks like Gonke. Like he, he looks. Oh, Ned here. is Ned is Gonk. Whatever, Ganky. I mean, it's they have yeah. the whole Lego thing and everything. I think the especially with Miles, like I've said this before, like the gloves are exactly the same. Like the black with the yeah. red fingers with the black rings around them. Like, I mean, they're super. It is super sick. I mean, I really like it a lot. I love the um. I love the black. I love the, I mean, the eyes, obviously, but I think it's like, you can see this. Yeah, I'm, I can see it. Yeah. That's sick. Um, the, I, I don't really love the white outline around the symbol and stuff. I mean, it's fine. I think, I think that it's really sick though. I saw someone speculating that it was the symbiote suit and I laughed. I was like, that'd be hilarious. No, please don't let that be the symbiote suit. Yeah. The right. symbiotes would better be freaking dark black. Right. Although, you know what I was thinking at kind of get a little off topic. So, I know a lot of people had a problem with the Spider-Man 3 symbiote suit like I did, where it's just like, you can see all the web lines, and it's just like darker. Do you know what I'm right, saying? Yeah, yeah. But I was, I've been rewatched. I mean, a little while ago, I rewatched all through Spectacular Spider-Man, which is one of my favorite cartoons. And the way they did it in that show was when he first got it, all the web lines and stuff were still on. It was just a black, it was just like colored black. But mm -hmm. then like, as time went on, and as he started getting more like affected by it, and he started becoming more dark, like as a person, the web lines and like features of the actual suit went away. And so at the end, it was just his eyes and like symbol. And I thought that was yeah. really unique because I had never noticed it before. Yeah, that that would actually yeah. be pretty cool. Yeah, that, that I remember that was really sick. Like the lines were gray and stuff. And as like he became more of the symbiote, it just went for, like a complete black suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so if sick. if they can't bring venom in for the black suit i still want to be i still want to see the black suit on screen at some point because i really one of my favorite spider-man storylines is craven's last hunt oh, I yeah. Yeah. so i'd love to just see him in the black suit anyway like oh it's just a he's just a black version i mean he does have i don't know if he can pull that up aiden but we did see a picture of him in the stealth suit a couple weeks ago I oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah um, it looks like it has a shield insignia yeah. on it, so it may because Nick Fury and Maria Hill are in the movie. Um, it may just be it's something that they gave him or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, but but that looks good. But obviously, it's not the black suit I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, For it looks sure. like It looks very noir inspired. Um, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Kind of like big time a little bit. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Oh man, that would be awesome to see on screen oh. the big time suit with the green. A big time suit. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Like I said, I'm a huge Ramo slash slot fan, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh my or like a um could you guys imagine like a spin on like the future foundation suit? Like the white with Just the black? found this, by the way. Dude, I've seen that before. That's this such a concept, sick edit. but oh my gosh. <laughs> that looks great. Yeah. That looks it, dope. If nobody knows what we're talking like about, that, it's yeah. the um it's the hey everyone scene from Civil War, but like instead of his normal suit, it's like all black with the classic symbol with like bright white eyes, and it is it's be I would like to have the eyes be bigger, like you know what I mean, to really sell the symbiote eyes. Right. Yeah. yeah. That might sound like a nitpick or whatever, but yeah. or even even like a squint. You know, I'm always big on that with the symbiote. I kind of like him looking meaner as far as his expression. That's interesting. I, I like I like him looking a little bit meaner. Like, hey, you know, 
almost like the Web of Shadows symbiote look, if you know what I'm talking about, where it's like yeah, eyes yeah, are yeah, very yeah. tiny. I yeah, always, I always like my my uh, Spider Man eyes really big. Like that's me. Like I like the really wide ones. You know what I mean? But like yeah. the, I, I can, I've never really thought about that way. Like that, that would make sense for the symbiote suit. Yeah. Wait, yeah. So like, like, how do you feel about the new Marvel Legends symbiote one that's coming out in the Black Cat? Like, uh, not, I'm not really big on that. Yeah, I don't really like that look as much. I, I don't like it as much. I think it still looks... I mean, I love that whole Red Goblin stuff. Like, I'm really excited for the Red Goblin. But, like, I mean, I don't think the design is nearly as cool. But, like, yeah. I'm excited to get it. You know what I mean? I'm excited to have another version of the symbiote. Yeah. Like, I think it looks fine. Yeah. But I don't think... I don't think it's the figure's fault. I think it's the character design. Like, I don't want yeah. my yeah. Spider-Man having toes. You know? Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't really like that either. Yeah, that that the the squinty eyes thing. My my opinion on that. That was a criticism I had with the, uh, the I think it was the Sandman wave black suited Spider Man. I think that's what wave he was in. Yep, it was the um. Wait, yeah, it was the Sandman one. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but his eyes look like big McFarlane eyes, and I did not like that on the black suit for that figure. I I want him to look like a little bit more mean. I want there to be contrast you know, much larger contrast, I guess you could say, between the normal suit and the, the symbiote black suit. So I kind of like the squinty eyes. So that, that was one criticism I had with that figure when it came out. I feel I feel you on that. I actually, I love yeah. the McFarlane eyes. I love the really, like I said, I mean, I mean, like, I'm a sucker for, like, the really big Ultimate Spider-Man eyes. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I like it on his actual suit. I, I really like the big eyes on his normal suit. But for the symbiote, you know. I like the, I like a bit of the squint. I like the mean, really edgy <laughs> look. Yeah, of the yeah for sure. I feel you. Yeah, but um, uh, yeah. I guess, I guess we pretty much. How interesting would it be to have Tom Holland do a symbiote voice, Spider Man? That'd be so sick. I, oh I don't know, cause t- I don't know how. I well just like Tom imagining him doing like that, like uh, growly voice. Like, <laughs> well, I like, can imagine I, like, I, it'd be like homecoming when he has like the interrogation mode or something yeah yeah that one that cracked me oh, up that'd be sick <laughs> i'm not that's a little so boy man. <laughs> well i think he'd be more like the um i don't think he'd be like the like rough like scary big like bulky guy but i think he'd be like the creepy like serial killer like white <laughs> kid you know what i mean like that's the voice i think be, like very like not um I mean, it'd obviously be dark, deeper, and scary, but it'd be like very, like unhinged. You know what I mean? Like yeah, more, really, more in that yeah. regard, not just like um big and have a deep voice. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, what's funny is with Holland and the comic version. Whenever I imagine the voice of Peter when he has the symbiote suit in the comic vo- version, I imagine he's he talks like a little bit growlier and stuff like that. Yeah. And I I see him as like a bigger presence, but with Tom Holland. Whenever I think of him with a symbiote suit, I could see him just kind of like slowly picking at you, like the stuff that he says to you, yeah, yeah, slowly yeah, eats that. at you a little bit. Like he's not really just like it's all strength. It's more like the things that he will say to you. That's kind of what I've seen. Well, I mean, imagined. I guess you could say. Whenever I think of Tom Holland in a spider, yeah. a, a symbiote type thing. Yeah, yeah. I imagine the uh, get back here, sucker. <laughs> I knew you were going to say something about that. Sucker! Chase you to the end of the earth! Chase <laughs> you to the ends of the earth! Bro, that's so stupid. Oh my goodness. And some people are like, that's my Spider-Man. Like, I hear Josh Keaton whenever I hear, like, when I read Spider-Man comics. But, like, some people are like, yeah. dude, that performance was awesome. <laughs> no. So, do you have anything else for screen time? Yes, I, I, I do have quite a few things. I know we like we like to ramble. Oh, for sure. No, I was just making sure. I was making sure you still had stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's some rumors going around for Avengers Four. Um, there's one new rumor. I'm wondering. I'm I'm thinking that this one might actually be true. It's uh, that Avengers Four may pick up five years after Infinity War. Um, I think that one's confirmed. Actually, five years. I think that one is confirmed. Yeah. Either five or like ten. Like I think that I think that has been confirmed by wow. five or someone. Now, now here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, obviously Tony's m- like ninety nine percent gonna die. <laughs> so I'm thinking, what? May- <laughs> I'm thinking it may be like a thing where he has a son with Pepper already, and he has to sacrifice himself, 
and you know he has to leave his son and Pepper behind. So to me, it makes sense that it would be five years later. Now, do I want it to be five years later? Absolutely not. I would rather yeah. pick up right yeah. after. Right after Infinity War, you know, I'm not really big on time jumps. I'm like, no, 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 no. I want to see it pick up right where it left off. Um, so yeah, yeah. That's interesting. I, I don't know if I mind the time jump. Like, I kind of, I mean, obviously, everything's gonna get. I think everything's gonna be reset to present time. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I think yeah. it's just for that movie. Like, I'm kind of. I don't know if I would prefer it, but I'm interested to see what they're gonna do with it. Yeah, I, f- I feel yeah. you. Yeah. Um, as far as other rumors, uh, it's always the toy companies that accidentally leak yep. stuff. Yep. But, Lego, uh, all of them. Since the beginning of time, that's how it's been, too. Like, that's crazy. Um, it's they get that first access to concept and all that stuff and then just mm-hmm. start doing it out real fast. Oh, yeah. I don't know what company it is. Uh, it could be Hasbro for all I know. But um, there's a picture floating around of what looks like a female Iron Man armor that's purple. So a lot of people are thinking, oh, is Pepper going to put on the rescue armor? Mm-hmm. Is she somehow going to... Yeah, rescue, that, yeah. That's what also makes me think, oh, the, the, the five-year time jump is in actuality because Pepper may be putting on that suit. Maybe she's going after him. Maybe, you know, I mean, in terms of all that. Um, but yeah, no, for sure. I think that is confirmed too. Like, I mean, not sure. <laughs> I, I do think that the um time jump has been like that's like factual. Yeah, it it, it may very yeah. well be. N- not very big on it, like I said earlier, but that just very well maybe. Um, I'm not a big fan of Gwyneth Paltrow's Pepper, so it's not that I'm really excited to see her put on the rescue armor it's like okay you know like I, she, she's always yeah. just there to me you know like obviously she was prominent in the first iron man but after that i felt like she was just there you know like oh tony yeah. care about someone or else he'll look like a sociopath on screen <laughs> <laughs> let's just have some love interest or something i've never really felt like she was all that important i feel like that for a lot of heroes love interests the only love interest that i think was actually you know, prominent in my mind was uh, Agent Carter. Oh, so good. I was about to say. You know, she, she's the only one that I think people actually like, oh, yes! You know, nobody talks about Jane Foster, really. Nobody yeah. really talks about, I don't even remember the name of From Dr. Oh, yeah. Friend, you know, oh, yeah, Dr. Strange, too. Or the Ross. Um, although I would like to see her again at some point. I feel like they've been slacking heavy on Hulk because of the rights issues and mm-hmm. stuff like that yeah uh, but yeah th- i think that's it for the avengers 4 rumors um and yeah i think i think that's pretty much it for screen time oh there's one more thing i i never got your guys opinion on this actually um what are you guys thinking about the joker film Ooh, that's such a good topic to bring up my um, answer is why like i mean it, it looks cool but right. i don't know why we're why we're getting it you know what i right. mean like, yeah, I, don't yeah, want it. Sure. I think he's so it. creepy. Not gonna lie, just those like the little oh, yeah. uh, what was it teaser we got, and then like the yeah. images. Yeah. He does look kind of scary. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna try to channel Heath Ledger, and I think he will do a pretty good job. But like, just like the way the clown stuff is, is a little more psychotic. I think. Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited for it. Originally, I was like you, Finn. I was like, why do we even need this? But um. Yeah. You know, with with me, I was thinking, you know, Joker, I think you can get away with a Joker film over a Venom film, in my opinion, because Venom, the whole creation is in is involved with Spider-Man. But I, you know, because Joker has so many different origins, I don't really think you need to have Batman in his film or anything like that. But y'all know me. I like crazy characters. So when I saw that teaser, it pretty much sold me on it. You know, I like yeah, yeah. I like seeing the little projector flashes of him in the yep. I liked seeing how he moved in the suit. Something about the way he moved. I was like, those are Joker movements. Something about the way he was dancing. I was like, you, you pretty much nailed the movements. I just need to hear you laugh. I need to hear your laugh yeah. to, to be completely yeah. smooth. But I'm, I, I'm, yeah. I'm really liking the look. At first, I was a little turned off by it, but it grew on me. I really think it's just the red on the nose, to be honest. Because if you take yeah. that away, he pretty much just looks like Ledger with blue instead of black. Pretty much, yeah, and no scars. But uh, I actually really like the look. 
I don't think that's going to be the final version. I think he's going to like turn into something else possibly at towards the end of the movie or something. But I'm really liking the way he moves. I like the weight that uh, Joaquin Phoenix lost. I like how skinny he looks. He looks like he stinks. Like he looks like he smells. <laughs> like <sick. laughs> that's he smells hilarious. Like, like but that's how I imagine the Joker. I imagine he smells awful. Like his breath stinks. He has terrible bo. Yeah, yeah. You know? So he Joaquin looks like he stinks in this role. So I'm actually pretty excited for it. You know me, I like crazy characters. So yep. you give me a movie with a crazy character, I'm I'm all for it. I like I, yeah, I like I mind think, stuff. Definitely. I think he can do I honestly, Joaquin Phoenix is an actor. I think he can do just as good as Heath Ledger or yeah. even surpass. Like, I mean, I know that sounds blasphemous, but like nobody was saying Heath Ledger was gonna be good before his movie. Like nobody knows, True. but right. I think Joaquin Phoenix is a fine actor. I think he's gonna be great. And I'm gonna see this. Like I'm going to. Yeah. I just I'd much rather them either reboot or like do a solo Batman movie that's worth like worth For something. Sure. You know what I mean? For sure. We haven't gotten a good yeah. Batman movie since 2012 or 13. Mm-hmm. But all, all I need is to hear some footage of him laughing, and then I'll know yeah. whether yeah, or not. I, I, I really hope. I really hope that he does something different because a lot of times yeah. when people think Joker, they think he sounds like this, and he kind of, you know, I kind of hope that he does something along the lines of, uh, I think it was John DiMaggio or some. He he John did. DiMaggio. He did the um Under the Red Hood one. Yeah, and, and I think he did uh Dark Knight Returns <clears throat> too. Dude, he is so and good. I love He's his the voice of Jake the Dog. Yeah, yeah, I love his Joker voice because he sounds more like a criminal to me, if that makes yeah. any sense. And I really like his laugh. It it actually sounds it's really kind of creepy. Also, yeah. I think you were right. I think it is John DiMaggio. I think Joe DiMaggio is the baseball player. <laughs> yeah, I just realized that. But yeah, I mean, I want to hear his laugh. I think it'll be good. Although um, a laugh doesn't make a good movie, so I'm like, right. yeah, yeah, I'm I'm concerned that it won't be. I don't really need to know Joker's origin. You know what I mean? Right, I don't yeah, need absolutely. to know where this insane person came from. Right. But yeah, I, I mean, I'm more excited for this than I was for Venom. So yeah, I, I am. Yeah. I am. Um, I, I just do hope that his voice and his laugh sounds pretty good. Um, I, I was at first kind of concerned about the quality of the movie because the director hasn't done much outside of the hangover movies. So I'm like, can he do like a serious, comic book movie but then i'm like wait joaquin is in it so it has to he has to trust the filmmaker yeah you know Dude, yeah that's that that's literally reason enough to be like okay this right. might be decent just because joaquin right. phoenix is like dude yeah this dude pretended to go insane <laughs> and grow a huge beard and make a whole documentary about it right yeah he pretended to be a rapper or something like yeah <laughs> that was crazy he looks like he's having fun in it too you know it's but yeah in those projector flashes in the teaser, it looked like he was having fun dancing around in the makeup. Yeah. If you're having fun doing it, then I think I, I'm pretty much confident that it may be, at the very least, a, a decent movie. Yeah. But yeah, I think, I think that's pretty much it for screen time. One uh, more thing, actually, for screen time. And I don't know if this qualifies under the category, and I don't know if you guys even do anything with it, but uh, the new Spider-Man video game, which has been amazing to play... Um, the DLC for Black Cat just dropped mm -hmm. too. Just it did. Wait, did it thing. drop? Drop? Yeah, it just dropped. Drop. Are you sure? Finn's like, yeah. I'm gonna run and go put oh down. Goodness, I'm play this like tonight. I'm ready. Oh my goodness! I know. Right. I didn't know. Yeah, I know. And it's. I mean, that game is amazing. I love that game so I'm, much. I, yeah, it's one of the best games I've ever played, in my opinion. Like, I'm so that, yeah. sadly broke that I haven't. Galaxy game yet. <laughs> no more saying that you're Dude, broke. We get it. Bill, field of like the watching it from like he posted that picture um of Spider Man on like the city thing, and he was like yeah. seeing all these Spider Man screen shares and not having the game. <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, I've just... purposely avoided all gameplay and everything. Like, no, I want to play it. I want to play it. a lot of times. Even if I want the game, I may just watch like a whole walkthrough just because I'm bored. Yeah. And I have nothing else to do. Wait, but, so yeah. Aiden, you have a PS4? Yeah, I do. And then Alex, are you ever gonna get one? Um, the the game, uh, uh yeah, I want to get the game, and I, I I've been had a PS4. Wait, what? Yeah, you have a PlayStation, yeah. and I didn't even know. <laughs> I just don't play it often. I play the Xbox That's more because my dad mostly watches the TV gotcha. where the PS4 yeah. is. So I, I don't know. Have time to play it. I don't know what kind of games y'all are into, but uh. If you guys want to ever get on the Fortnite grind, yes, you might have to exactly. Up. I was Let's already playing it. that today. 
I haven't yeah, played, played a single thing of Fortnite. Alex, Alex. What is wrong with you? Alex, listen, <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> It's got a lot of flack because a lot of little kids like it and stuff, and I it's not for everyone. But like, I will not play it by myself. But sitting down with the two of you and or just with your friends and just messing around is so much fun, and it's, it's free. So Alex, right, yeah, download exactly. it on Xbox because we can yeah, with, with me, I'm I'm if you know me, I'm an anti bandwagon type person. So immediately, yeah. <laughs> I saw that people, a bunch of people were playing it. It was becoming this popular thing i was i was looking at it like if a whole bunch of people are playing this and i know a whole bunch of dumb people and they're playing yeah. them i probably <laughs> this, you know it's so, like a dumb game like don't go into it expecting like there's no story you're literally just building structures and right, shooting yeah. people for glowing guns like but so <laughs> playing with friends is infinitely fun like i'm <laughs> alex download it on your xbox we can all play together because xbox and ps4 can do cross play and we'll all yeah, play together yeah. and have like a shutterbugs Game night, sugar <laughs> bugs Fortnite game night. I think it's hilarious that we're planning all this out right on the podcast. Yeah, exactly. They need to right. know that I'm always on the Fortnite grind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so that um, that's awesome, and yep. yeah, I and that wraps up screen time. time, which has been a really fun segment. Man, we've I'm excited about how like we've been taking our time and working through these segments because I think it's really interesting to like. I, there's a lot more content that like people don't get to hear. You know what I mean? Yeah, for real. Yeah. Yeah. So it's super fun. So now we're going to be getting into our next segment. The oh, do we even do toy news? I I noticed yeah, that. Man. I was like, oh my gosh! Oh my goodness, <laughs> y'all! I am. We'll I get that so. Done. <laughs> I was like, wait, where's? I was like, where's Aiden's segment? I was like, he's oh, not. Yeah. In he's not trying to critiques. What the heck? Okay. So normally we'll go through pickups and binges, toy news, and then screen time. But we did a little bit reverse episode, uh, reverse order for this first episode because I don't know how to read apparently, just as well as um, Aiden knows how to type. So exactly, exactly. <laughs> Next, we'll be getting into our toy news segment. Aiden, would you like to take it away? Of course. One other thing I want to mention is on the Discord under packages, Captain McKay just picked up the Joker for eighty freaking bucks at his local Wait, comic shop, Mezco. Joker, which Joker? Mezco. What? I think it's like Bro. yeah. And I I can't tell if it's the D, um the deluxe version or the regular, but yeah. I'm I, so need mad that for the, um, I need that deluxe for real. Seriously, it's that's like the Discord. Amazing. If you guys aren't on the um ACBA Discord, like yes. get on it. It's so much fun. I'm looking it's oh, so much fun. Yeah. What? Yep. What? And um. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> get into it, bro. All right. So toy news. Um, Mezco cable pre-orders went up. I. I mean, I'm going to start saving up, but I'm like debating if I want to get that with like the money that I save up or I'm going another direction because like the light up feature looks cool. But like I was listening to on the, po um, the ACBA podcast with uh, Poncho and Boog that they were saying like if that light up feature is not like if it's in just the chest plate and that's removable and there's actually like a body like the Punisher underneath, I'm going to be so stoked. But if oh. it's built into that torso, I'm like, no oh. way. And I really, I've said this to you guys before, I really don't like the boots on him. They look too clunky, yeah. not ish. And I'm yeah. not. And the colors as well, like that dark. Yeah, I don't like the blues. I don't like how it's and, all blue. Yeah. And again, I was also thinking, just like the Punisher, they're going to do a lot of variations to this. They'll probably do one that works good with like their Deadpool, like a tanner color, kind of like the Marvel Legends one we got. So like, I'm like, should I get the original release or should I just go for like the one that I like when it comes out? Or yeah. not even get one at all, you know. You know, Mezco, they're gonna find a way to cheese money out of everybody and do exactly. It's so in San Diego, it's so, so they're gonna yeah. And I, I, my problem with the cable is it's like they were also saying on that podcast, the ACBA podcast. Check them out on YouTube and stuff. It's um, they said if the if the guns had like a light up feature, it's game over. Oh, game over, yeah. dude. bro. Could you imagine yeah. just like a switch? Bro. Oh, and then the end just of like, your gun uh, is lit up, bro. <laughs> oh. It would be so, dude. I copyright that and let let like the three of us figure it out before. I've had dreams of that sentence before. I'm like, man, I, I was like, wake up, I'm like, oh, I need guns, like light up toy guns. <laughs> we need to get on that ASAP before somebody listens to this. <laughs> so sick. That'd be exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, I love cable. I mean, I love cable. I love the both legends versions. I just this is like it's it's almost ugly to me too. Like I don't want. It's not aesthetically pleasing as a figure to me and so it's like if i'm gonna get a mezco it's gonna be like a good mezco you know what i mean right. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. With me, I whenever I look at that, I'm thinking, if I'm going to get it, I'm going to turn it into not just cable, but I'll use it as like a no, soldier or something. You know, you have I'm, to. You have I'm not going to gonna use that as cable because yeah. I don't think. Really, outside of the head sculpt, I mean, if you took the head sculpt off, who would you say it was? You know, <laughs> like oh, for I, sure. Yeah. You think, oh, is it a yeah. Heroes of War character? Right. Yeah, it looks like now that you said that, all I see is freaking Phoenix from Gears of War. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. And then um, other toy news: Michael Myers from Mezco. Oh my god! As well. Speaking of good Mezcos, speaking of good Mezcos, <laughs> right? I want this guy. I'm sorry. I'm like, I I don't want to talk over anyone, but I want this figure so bad. Like I don't even oh, like. No. I don't like horror movies, but like I like some of the classic ones. So like I love Scream. I like Halloween. This figure is just, just it. It just looks so good, and I want if it. Mezco makes a ghost face. It's game over. For Dude, me. I was Alex. I was just about I to was say that. About to say that. Just about. Okay. I was just about to. Oh my! They made a ghost, ghost face. Ghost face. That thing would sell out so fast. I'm bro. putting down whatever. I'll put down a credit card. On that thing. <laughs> I will sign up for whatever. I won't even I have the do. money, and I'll put it down <laughs> for sure. That would be me, Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, so it'll be game over. Now you know me because I'm on the other end of spec of the spectrum when it comes to affording things. I know I've said that twenty times now, but I, <laughs> oh, really, you're broken, Alex. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm definitely going for the NECA version of Michael Myers. It actually yeah. actually looks pretty decent. Of course, it doesn't look, look as good as the the uh, the Mezco. And again, it's it's from the new Halloween movie, so it looks slightly different. You know, as far yeah, as yeah, more weathered. Yeah, but uh, I'll definitely be getting a Michael Myers at some point. Yeah, you little horror obsessed freak. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you. Oh, you said horror. I was. Oh my god, Aiden. <laughs> no, definitely said horror. Bro, if you heard the shock of my voice, I was like, <laughs> what? Finish shook. I was for a second. I was like, Aiden, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, and then um, the New York Comic Con Wolverine dropped that uh, Samurai one, which looks um pretty good, and then the Doctor Strange as well, first appearance Doctor Strange. Both are, and then oh, I'm yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt okay. you. No, 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 you're good, Alex. Keep talking. Yeah, I was just saying both are is again Mezco trying to cheese money out of people by releasing the same thing yeah. <laughs> in a different colors. I don't really want yeah. that Wolverine. I don't think they've made, no. in my opinion, the only good Wolverine figure they've made is the old man Logan. Like I don't. And really they're know. making one. If you guys know, they're making a younger like Logan with the short, um, the short vest, like jacket, and then like like it's just like the black haired classic young Logan with dog that's tags it. on him. Yeah. And like well, that's-, that's the one Mezco I'm really thinking about because like a, they have awesome Wolverine figures. When I saw that, I was like, is Mezco looking at Adam Smith's photos? Because it looks kind exactly. of like his mashes. <laughs> they're like, every kit bash Adam does, they're like, oh, take notes, guys. Take notes on this. <laughs> right. Yeah, but as far as the Ronin 5 Wolverine, I'm like, if I'm yeah. going to get something like that, I'm just going to go to Articulate the Icons, to be honest. Exactly. Like, I'm not, not going to go for Mezco amount of money for that. Yeah, no, that's yeah, a line yeah. I never really got into. I, I, I missed out on the pre-orders and stuff. I, Alex, yeah. I know you got something. Yeah, I, I got really... it. Yeah. Yeah, I never really picked one up. I don't know why. Yeah, I got yeah, a I Shinobi figure, which was the blue ninja, and I'm I'm mad that I didn't have the money. I didn't have the money to get a uh, samurai because I'm a, I'm a yeah. big Japanese history type person. So you know, mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. And then Marvel Legends, we got um, some reveals at New York Comic Con. Deadpool with the Vespa, Professor X with the hover chair, um, the rest of the Black Order figures. Kingpin, build a figure, Gambit, Weapon X, Caliban, Jumbly, Mystique, Guardian, <laughs> Wendigo, Black Cat, Red Goblin. That's just can some just, of them. Can we just talk about two things? Of One, course. how that Kingpin bath is going to rule the entire year that it comes oh out. My God. I'm yep. so mad it's a bath. Why Both are going to be flooding the page of the thing. I, it's going to be like Deadpool, first release, Pizza Spidey bad. Like I, yeah. And I can't wait. So I know we're not going to talk about Daredevil till next week, but like Watching season three has never made me want a kingpin figure more. Like bro, I want one yeah. so bad, bro. I, and I'm I'm actually kind of excited for the Shadow King head because I don't know if you guys watch Legion. Um, I do, do which not, is but I know the character. I don't either. Um, but Shadow King is the main villain of Legion on the show. He looks nothing like the comic book version. But because I watched the show, 
I can now really want the uh, alternate head for that as well. Yeah, isn't but, Shadow man, like a girl? And no, uh, well, it's no complicated. <laughs> right, no, oh, yeah, you're right. You're the right. You're right. Season, the first season of Legion, I will say, is like top three superhero show for me. Like Daredevil, Punisher, and then Legion for me. But uh, the second season was just like they got too deep into weird. But yeah, it, that's that's my problem getting into the first season. It's it's so weird. Like it's so like you don't know what's real that like I almost can't get into it. You know? What yeah. I mean? with, with, me and my family we watched it and uh, it was so bizarre. But it kept ending on like weird cliffhangers that we just yeah, kept watching it. It was like yeah. what the heck was that? Go to the next one. Then we figured we we watched all of it and we like wait, but wait, what happened? You know. The, the second season, they yeah. got deep into that, but not not to ramble on that. But yeah, I was just saying that Shadow King head looks really nice. Yeah, and it was hilarious too when that was first revealed at San Diego, like the minute after you just go on eBay. Kingpin, old like <laughs> toy biz going up like 20 bucks and everyone's like, hey, let's get rid of these while I can. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I kind of wish that, that I did. Uh, I saw a deal for that Kingpin a while ago, but I didn't get it for some reason. I kind of wish that I got the Toy Biz Kingpin because it's yeah. still nice to me. And CJ yeah. is on Instagram. I think I don't think he put it out yet, but he teased like last year that he was making a suit for it, and it looked really good. Like I have to yeah. pull, send that to you guys in the group chat or something. But that looked yeah. really, really good. I really want to get the. Uh... I have a chance to get this. I mean, I lost a bit or whatever, but I want to get the old Toy Biz Black Suit Kingpin. But I think yeah, angry I head. Yeah. Super hard. Yes. Super hard. Yeah. Yeah. What's What's yeah. great about Kingpin is I love both colors of his suits, the black and the and the white. I don't know sure. why. He's, something about Kingpin looks dope to me. He's just oh. like a bald white guy, a big fat. Yeah. Guy. Exactly. I love. I love the fact that first of all, I need to have a white suit eventually, but like. Yeah. I love the fact that he's so fat, but it's because it's all muscle. Like right. I think, yeah, that's that's great. Great. yeah, yeah. yeah and then, that. um, yeah, and then the last uh, vintage wave is like now officially shipped from Big Bad Toy Store and is delivering. I know Shardimus Prime just posted a review actually because I got the notification for Vision and um, Scarlet Spider, and I'm really, I really want to get the Scarlet Spider of all of them because of that head, because it's yeah. like, it's got that um blonde hair for uh for human torch yeah it'd be yeah, a good I, I just for that. About to say that i really want to use that for human torch um i really want that vision i really really want that vision me too oh me too i i mean yeah the vision looks amazing and i want the scarlet spider i love the old one i actually kind of prefer the new colors like the yeah it almost looks yeah. like claw like claws plastic if you know yeah. what i'm talking about like for the yeah, new yeah, one yeah for sure and that that Ben Riley head sculpt is a must have for like a Johnny yeah, Storm. For sure. Exactly. That's what I would like definitely want to do. Cause it's cause I don't know, but uh Craig Warrack, uh 112 shooter on Instagram, if you guys check him out, he posted a like a photo of the of course first family. And he was feature he had like Craig Warrack's human torch head, and I don't even know what head he used, but it looks phenomenal. Yeah, I think uh Craig Warrack, I think he made some actually. Yeah, he did. Yeah, those are his. He customized and um I maybe even sculpted the hair. And um, made a line, and I hit him up, and I asked, and he said he was all out, and he'd keep yeah. me informed about I, any I, other yeah. ones. But I think Marty, Mc, Marty McCusker from the group, I think he has one that he used in a photo. Oh, really yeah. nice. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I what's what's bad about that is I only watch the Scarlet Spider for that head. I already have the the Rhino Bath Scarlet yep. Spider. Well, mine is my my uh my left arm has always been loose on mine. Yeah, like my original one. Oh, I'm seeing the photos from the 112 shooter. No, that's really sick. Yeah. Oh, that that's, that's really, really good head. That's uh, that's Eric Isner, I think. I don't think that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's his name. Yeah. Try to there's yeah. one six shooter. Too. That's Trevor's. Trevor's one six shooter. Yeah. And so many one. shooters that are scaled. <laughs> exactly. Right. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, for sure. But yeah, um, gonna, yeah, the colors are good on that one, basically, and the Hawkeye. Yeah. Ones. Yeah, and I I don't know how I feel about the Wasp, if I want to get her or not. The Ant-Man's pretty yeah. cool, because I don't have any, like, classic comic oh Ant-Man. Oh my gosh, the Ant-Man! I have to get the Ant-Man. Out of yeah. all of them, that's what I have to I have to I, get an Ant-Man. I don't own an Ant-Man figure. I think what you would make Ant-Man figure at all? I don't have one, dude. I mean, I have the, oh, wow. uh, the, um, the, the, uh, the black-suited one from Walgreens has been sitting in my Walgreens yeah, for, like, yeah. five years. But I, still, I never picked it up. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, y'all know wow. which Ant-Man 
I have, but um, I think what would make oh, me, yeah. I think what would make me get that wasp would be getting that Ant Man, and then be like, well, now I have yeah. to get a wasp. Yeah, exactly. So sort of show him punching her or whatever, you know? <laughs> Just yeah, for uh, sure. But no, but yeah, I think I think that would be the only reason I would get wasp. Um, and that Black Panther. See, I didn't know that they were making an all black version, so I got the Walmart yeah. pink one and I made it black. Which I'm actually oh. kind of, I'm actually kind of happy that I made that one black because I hate the prowler claws that they gave the Black Panther in the yeah. wave. They look so deformed and disgusting to me. I don't know why they yeah. chose sculpt. I'm gonna look that up. I need to see what you're talking about because I don't remember the. <coughs> I know the prowler claws, but I want to see what that looks like on his hands. Well, like what I did with mine is I picked up also the uh, the other Walmart exclusive, the one with like kind of it looked like the comic, um, it looked like yeah. the old Rocket Raccoon one. And if you switch the black, like the all black head from the pink one onto that body, it works perfectly. And I saw yeah. Adam Smith do it. Oh, back. that's sick! Yeah. I have both. I haven't even done that before. Yeah, yeah. I, I so I never, never thought about that. Yeah, I, I never got the the uh, the. OG looking with the with the blue hands and stuff. I never got yeah. that. Um, I, I'm seeing I'm seeing the uh wa the new vintage wave one. Yeah, it's weird. And his belt looks super stupid. Yeah, and I'm like, not like, that, like saggy belt. Like why? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the white effects either. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Why does he have white? Yeah, effect? the white why effects are like effects at all? It's claws. But yeah, it's weird. That's it's dumb. Weird. Yeah, and then um. Other toy news wise, we got um, the SH Figure Arts uh, Dragon Ball stuff. I don't keep up on Dragon Ball that much. I do. <laughs> Finn, do you got any news in SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball or just Dragon Ball stuff toy um, wise in general? Not a ton of news. I just know that the uh, Roshi and the um, Fat Boo have been hitting like Barnes and Noble and stuff like that recently. Yeah. Oh, really? So, like, I f yeah, I found the Roshi and the um, Majin Vegeta there already. Dude, Barnes and I, Noble, I, man. They're coming in it's, clutch with some toy stuff crazy. recently. It's just so expensive. Yep, I was um, I, you. I was at the exchange like two days ago, and I was I bought whenever or a couple days ago, and I bought the Joker goon. And as I was leaving, they were ready to stock up some. They had like the Roshi for fifty, and they had like some of that. So they have very few imports. I actually got the um SHF Naruto there like a year ago for like fifteen bucks, which is insane. They never have Bro. they never have imports that low, but like it was crazy. But then they traded in the um, SH Figure Arts Batman Dark Knight one, for, and they had it on sale for 20 bucks. Bro, that's sick. Wow. Yeah. I yeah. just didn't have the cash at the time, or else I would have bought it and, like, like I don't know, did, like, a kit bash or something. But, like, and I already had it, so. Speaking, yeah. of, speaking of the Dragon Ball stuff, have you guys seen the pictures of the uh, the Mr. Satan uh, figure? I that's supposed to come it. Up? That actually looks – it looks like it jumped out of the show. It's into nuts. into plastic. It looks really great, and also the <laughs> yeah, the okay. the Majin Buu looks great too. Oh, the Fat Buu is so sick. I I mean, I've seen like an, uh, animated heroes on Instagram, and obviously like Panchisi or whatever his name is, Panchisi whatever. Um, he's a, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm so, I'm really Panchi. bad at pronunciations. But um, Pancho is really awesome. He's a really nice guy, and he's really yeah. always helpful with like toy photo stuff. But um, he they all would do such great shots with that guy. And mm -hmm. then, um, and I don't know if you had this on your things to talk about, but you guys know the Dragon Stars line? I do not. I this don't either. Like, um, the twenty dollar, like, basically, if Mattel did Dragon Ball figures, hmm. just, and they're hmm. terrible. They're oh. not very good. <laughs> Target, GameStop. Yep, yeah. exactly. The ones at Walgreens too. I mean, they just released photos of the. Um, I'm gonna see. If oh, I, can I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they just released photos of the new wave. It had like Kid Boo, Super Saiyan Three, Goku, um, mm -hmm. like uh, I think it was Gohan. They had Cell. Um, they had a bunch of stuff, and then it was all a build a figure for like I think Super Saiyan Four. And I don't care about any of those figures, but I kind of want to get Kid Boo just because it's like not terribly articulated, yeah. and it's twenty bucks. And I really like Kid Boo a lot. Yeah, I um, contemplated actually picking up one of those uh vegetas that the dragon stars made because i only have the ss uh what was it jss whatever, whatever. yeah the super saiyan god super saiyan one and you have a freaking saiyan pod yeah but i <laughs> i don't have anyone for goku to fight so I'm, i may eventually just pick up one of those guys just to have goku punching somebody because you know i'm not a big crossover person so it'd be like oh well, why don't you just have him fight superman or oh why don't you have him fight Oh, I, love, I love crossovers. Yeah, oh. I know you do. <laughs> I love it. 
I, I'm just jealous you have that Saiyan pod. Like that thing is so sweet. And one of the um, one of my favorite Dragon Ball figures I have is the uh, Super the Saiyan Saga of Vegeta. Mm -hmm. it was amazing. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I still want. To... I didn't mean to interrupt. I, I was just saying I definitely want to get the uh, one of the SH figure arts Vegeta's just to do a shot with the pod. That oh, yeah. Majin one looks really nice, man. And mm. it's pretty easy to find right now. Like, contemplate. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yes. Yep. And then um, other SH figure arts news. I know the uh, Black Panther pack with like the terrain piece type dio pieces dropped, and um, the Ant Man and like little like Ant with Wings Antony pack dropped as well. Um, yeah, I for saw SH figure arts. I saw Bug's review of that, and it was yeah. It, it just looked like eh, you know. Yeah. You have the first. One or even a Marvel Legends, it's not really a must have. Right, yeah. Like I, I have the first Marvel Legends Ant Man from the first movie, which looked nothing yeah. like the movie design yeah. at all. I guess they had like an early concept or something, but I also have the Civil War SH Figure Arts one. And those are just yeah. good. Like, I don't think uh, yes, yeah. you know, costume accuracy and oh I want it to look current, but really you could just use those figures. Like it really doesn't matter. Oh yeah, for sure. Simon Hill's a great example of photos right. with Ant Man with that figure Bro, don't even bring and, him uh, <laughs> <laughs> i can't with him man uh and then uh mafex gwenpool dropped i know that um oh god who was shooting it on the page i think it was like prince draco on instagram shot at least oh yeah um yeah i know he did um ospa i don't know how to say i think that i think they're the same people yeah. i think that's yeah, yeah, the same. yeah they are <laughs> Yeah, dude. And then I know awesome. for Black Series, oh, he has some amazing photos. And yeah. like, I also heard this going a little off topic, real fast. But like, there's the people in the community, kind of like Simon and Adam, where like, and us, we're like, we're not really professional photographers, but like, we're learning the ropes of photography while kind of doing this, and it kind of helps out with also regular photography. And then there's people like One Six Shooter and um, Prince Draco, who like have been doing photography, and when they apply it to their toy photography, it's just a whole nother right. level of crazy sure Definitely. yeah I'm always, I'm always jealous of prince draco's lighting it oh looks yeah so it's great. so soft it's so it's soft and the so colors are just wow. insane him and michael westman and yeah. kitty games i believe yes yeah. i think brandon D yeah does michael a lot of crazy stuff, stuff. With yeah. That. Like, yeah especially the animated stuff his lighting Dude, brandon's colors. cutouts man oh my god the way he, like so he good. gave me a ton of cutout advice and we talked for a while on it but like his cutouts are crazy so good. He's the best. He is the best Batman the animated series photographer I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Close second. Yep, is, I, I, believe, I believe his name's Tom Green. Close second is him. I believe. Yeah, I believe he does. Talking about. Well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, and then I know Black Series um had Admiral Veers, which was um at Walgreens, and then I was just at Walmart yesterday when I got the um the Captain America crossbones two pack and they had these and I didn't even know about it stormtroopers that are coming out with like black like fabric on the back you guys know about these yeah that's from the solo movie i think Is that the okay. bam bam yeah. troopers yeah, or whatever like super um weathered and i'm like okay yeah i'm kind so of excited weird. about that i i only yeah. have three stormtroopers and one is original trilogy and the two other ones are from the the new wave of movies and i really just need yeah. some more original trilogy looking stuff cuz i have a yeah, vader sure. I have a Luke. I need some space walls, you know? Yeah, I really want yeah, all that. Yeah. Space walls for, oh, man, those <laughs> things. But, yeah, so, like, I I have two OG. I have um, my cousin, who's awesome, got me, because he gets a lot of the import stuff. He got um the model kit Bandai Stormtrooper, who's actually a fantastic figure. I think he's, like, 20, 30 bucks on Amazon. And then I have the Black Series, which works. It's the Han Solo removable helmet Stormtrooper one, you know? Mm -hmm. The Skies one. <laughs> And yeah. it works as a stormtrooper, so those are my two original trilogy. Sick. And the other two first order ones I have are like the original release, the UF in, and then the other ones like the new Last Jedi Electrocutioner Trooper, or whatever the one that like is about oh, to yeah. cut off Frozen Finn's head. That guy. Yeah. So yeah, I also yeah, think Sand Troopers, troopers are, are like my favorite design. Yes, of Stormtroopers of, and those yes. um, I still have to get the ones with the dobacks. Same. But like I love the Sand Trooper, the Sand Trooper figures. Those are insane. A little off top yeah. when. Black Series first launched, um, and it and the first time I saw like, the the original Stormtrooper, Sand Trooper, I remember I thought it looked so like fancy and high end when it first came yeah. out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Stuff. Because that that was back like when I first started collecting. Yeah. You know, like 
um, six inch stuff. I was really big in the uh, three, three quarter inch. Yeah. But, same. Uh, I was just like, yeah. But yeah, that, that was a little off topic, but I just thought I'd say that. No, you're good, bro. no yeah, for sure. <laughs> and then the last probably biggest news in toy news is Toys R Us is kind of bounce back as what is it jeffrey something i'm forgetting the name jeffrey's right now. toy box or yeah, something like that yeah something like that and so i don't know if they're just taking back the locations they had i heard and this is from the acba podcast as well but um they were saying that apparently they're like starting off in the really big places around the holiday time is when they're coming back and getting enough revenue from that and then they're going to mm-hmm. use it to open more stores and kind of so like they're using that kind of holiday season i guess like hype to invest in like in more stores and kind of start up again. Yeah. That, that actually sounds pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's also interesting because in their absence target, I, at least in my area has really started kind of coming into the NECA. Yeah. The, like that kind Same of stuff here. and taking up the, um, the mantle of toys and Barnes and Noble a little bit as well and a little bit Walmart and the other stores but they've really started kind of carrying that burden. So it's going to be interesting to see the shift either back to Toys R Us or how that happens. Yeah. I'm wondering how that that's going to go. Actually. Um, I've, I've liked seeing it in target now, seeing the NECA little section and all that yeah. the video games and movies and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that that's where I got my penny wise. So, you yeah. know, Toys R Us, because I live in, 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 uh, in, in Houston and, my Toys R Us kind of went away because of Harvey, Hurricane Harvey. So it kind of went away before, uh, you know, they closed. Oh, up. yeah. So when I would go in there, they would never have, uh, you know, new stuff. It would always just be the same crap because nobody was going in there buying anything. So oh, yeah. to actually go and look at new NECA stuff, like, oh, it's not the same Jason that I keep seeing every time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. And yeah, I think that's it for Toy News. Sweet. Okay, so that is wrapping up Toy News. Now we're going to get into our next section. It is the hashtag Shutterbugs Constructive Criticism section. Oh my gosh, I almost... Okay, (laughs) I'm going to repeat the title of this section. It is the Shutterbugs Constructive Criticism criticism section i can barely talk today i was like what is this? what the you're like really typing. typing okay yeah exactly yeah pretty much it's like you with typing it's terrible exactly. um basically so what we do in this section in this part of the podcast we're gonna everyone can submit a toy photo or as many as they'd like into the hashtag hashtag shutterbugs underscore cc which is constructive criticism and if you submit a photo in there we can pick to talk about it each one of us will select a photo from the hashtag and we'll talk about it give constructive criticism give what we like about it what we don't like about it what we would change any tips helpful stuff fun stuff like that um and then after that we're going to get into our favorite photos of the week from our feeds so like anyone that we're following or is following us we can talk about that would anybody like to get started with their photo that they chose for constructive critiques I have mine actually just ready to go, and then I'll do actually it. share it. On Alex, then you want to go after Aiden? Yeah, yeah, I can go after him, yeah. Sweet, let's All right, go. Cool. All right, so mine's right here. Boom. Um, This photo is by, hold on, let me, can I, yeah. Um, That Geek Bob, Um, shout out to you. And there's a lot of things I really think he did great about this photo. The cutout is perfect. It's pretty much parallel with the fair, frame of the camera. Um. I love the blaster effects. They look really good, the way Vader's deflecting them. I also love the screaming face on the Rebel Trooper. That just completely sells like the terror that's happening. Mm-hmm. And so I think this was a really well-done photo. Um, I think the Stormtroopers' poses in the back are a little lackluster. They could maybe be a little more, like, kind of, I guess, dynamic, maybe. True. And, um, and like, that's kind of the one thing that kind of sticks out to me. And, um... Also, the lighting's a little hot in the back right corner of the blue, but I think it also sells the illusion of the sky a lot. And maybe just some clouds in the sky could help, or maybe a little bit of a warm light to maybe mimic some sun sh- sunlight. And maybe like, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the light, but like an upper to the left light, I guess, that's more a little on Vader to kind of convey a little more sunlight instead of just all kind of heat in the back. But I'm, I really like the way this photo um, occurred. One other actually little thing is, the tree up most to the right that's between the two rebel soldiers, the white light's coming from the right side, so it looks a little more like the sun is like on the lower right and not up in the sky. So that kind of like doesn't sell the illusion that well. But I think the photo's great and he definitely did a great job. Yeah. Um, 
with this photo. Yeah, I think it looks great too. Looking at it, I really like the expression of the stormtrooper. I think that's great. Yeah. Is that the bullseye head? I think that is the bullseye head, and I've used that before. You know, and that's time. such a smart move. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. I've used that in the in the Jason shots I've done, and some shots where he's just getting shot or something. But um, I really like this. You know me with with trees and stuff and stuff in the background. You know me, Finn. I've, I've been getting. Oh, yeah. About getting some twigs or something. Yeah. The only thing that I'm noticing is I don't really think the effects are lit up enough for my taste. That's true. That's true. I feel like they should be brighter. I, and even the cutout, I even think the cutout could pop just yeah. a little bit more. I think it's a taste too. Yeah, dark. it's very backlit too. Which I mean, yeah, I, exactly. think, I think That's I think the thinking. hotness is cool. I mean, I turn it down a little bit, maybe raise up the lights, like you said. But um, it's just, it's kind of uneven, like the lighting. Yeah, yeah. And like, and also the thing about it is the backlight looks good, and he could completely keep that, and just maybe invest in one more light for like a top light, like you guys were saying, that'd really help one illuminate the cutouts, both the effects and the cut speech bubble, and also just sell the illusion. And one other thing I just realized is there's no lightsaber present, and he doesn't have to be holding one, but in terms of it on his belt. That yeah. I uh, kind of puts it off for me a little yeah. bit, but like if you don't have one, it still is a great photo, no matter yeah. what. I also, I love, I also, oh yeah, go ahead, Finn. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I love the uh, for myself. I love the dio. I I mean, it's like it is really solid. The rocks, the trees, the polyfill, everything looks really good. Yes. Um, yeah. My my one big thing is maybe contain everything a little bit more. Like you're seeing the tops of the rebel soldiers' heads being cut off. You know what I mean? Yeah. So maybe get a different angle where you're kind of viewing a little bit more down, just a tiny bit. Where it's like, oh, I see it now. Yeah, um, but like the stormtrooper, on, uh, what do you call it? The rebel soldier on the left, like the top of his head, just a little bit cut off. Like the arm of the right soldier's arm is cut off. Like it doesn't have to be all in there, but it kind of looks a little bit more like cropped and contained when it's like everything's kind of present and you're not getting yeah. limbs cut off. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but for sure. I, I will say kudos to him because I find this Vader figure to be very hard to shoot. Yeah, because yeah. He's used. I shoot very dark looking scenes and because I don't have space walls and stuff like that, a lot of times I just have a hard time getting some of the details right, you know, trying to light him up like his helmet, you know, and stuff yeah. like that. It becomes very difficult for me and that's why you don't, I probably shot him like maybe three or four times on my, or, or posted shots anyway on my Instagram of him. So I, I would say kudos to him for, for making this figure look good, lighting him up well. You can see the details in his yeah. uh, uh, costume, armor, whatever you want to call it, and his helmet. Definitely. And I love the blues yeah. for the sky. Yes. Yeah. You just yeah. have the lights just up a little bit more. I think that'd be like a perfect sky. Yeah, like exactly. It looks like a uh, Diego Carlos sky. You know what I'm talking about? Or like a yeah, Simon Hill. Sure. Like it looks really good. Yeah. 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 I don't and know. also. Oh, oh yeah. Go sorry. ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. One other kudos is that the arms on the soldier firing at Vader together on the blaster is a really hard thing to accomplish with Black Series in general because their articulation, but a figure overall, that's a really hard thing to get both guns or both hands on a gun. And the hands on his form. neck. The yeah, hands exactly. on the guy's neck. Yeah. yeah, so he did a good job posing as well on the uh, Rebel soldiers. Yeah, I, th I think this is a really great shot. I love the the dio. I love the the rocks and 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 the greenery here and stuff like that, and some of the stuff kind of in 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 the forefront of the camera. I I would say that maybe, you know, the blue looks really great, but I would think that maybe something that looked a little bit more green would work also to kind of sell the effect. Yeah. It's a forest, you know, like maybe this is Endor yeah. or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Or even like he could even go and doesn't have to be completely realistic with like a yellow or an orange to contrast the white of the stormtroopers and the blue of the rebel soldiers, like yeah. a lot of other people do. Yeah, get that going on for sure. Yeah, the, storm, the stormtrooper on the on the very right does blend in a taste. Yeah. He's kind of being washed yeah. out bit by the white, but I mean that's a hard thing to keep control of, in my opinion. Oh, especially yeah. yeah, you know me, I I really like it when the background is lit up enough to the point that it looks like you can't touch it. So I think that's yes. a hard thing to accomplish as well as trying to keep the stormtroopers, you know, and the shadows of the trees and a lot. Right. Of yeah. I think we can all agree. This is a really good shot too. Like, yeah. I think they did and a really good job. Yeah. I think this is a great pace. shot framing and everything. And I think just little adjustments like that will take this over the edge for sure. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. You guys want to get into the next shot? Yep. Yeah. I guess I'll get into mine. Uh, my, if you go to the 
hashtag, which is again hashtag Shutterbugs underscore CC, you will see a shot by Cap dot Lives on Instagram, and uh, I actually really like this shot. I don't know if you guys have it pulled up or anything. Yep, I'm looking at it. But I am as well. He's he's kind of got you know these four characters sort of looking down on the building. I really like it. I like the poses. I think the poses are really nice. I also like the color of the background. I think he could have chose something more blue, you know, but I understand kind of why he chose something more pink because, you know, Cap is very blue, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he probably would have, you know, fought with the blue color in the background. But my big thing with this is I think it's a, it's a taste too bright on the characters, in my opinion. There's, there's some hot yeah. spots here there's and there. Light. Mm. But also, I think he... I don't know what the size of the dio is, but I think he could have pulled back a little bit. I think it's a taste too close, in my opinion. I think he could have pulled back the frame, you know, just a little bit, so that way it kind of breathes a little bit more. I feel like it's very tight. Yeah. Yeah, I have a strong feeling that this is a pre-made dio that comes with, like, a playset. Mm -hmm. Just by the look of the bricks and the paint, that looks more like plastic. So he could have had limited room, which right. I understand. But I think the main thing for me, and this is not really something he could control because it happened to my pizza spotty as well on the unmasked head. But the lines on the head, yeah. um, there's paint weathering. So I guess that kind of defeats like the effect a little bit of him kind of being spider-man like and i guess it shows a good like some good battle damage but um it's just that oh uh, that's a minor thing for me but i think the posing is definitely solid on like the feet for wolverine and cap yeah. and their poses and getting spider-man's feet both planted on the ground with the fists both touching the ground i know i've had some experience doing that pose on a, a post of mine and it's not easy to do so props right. to you for that definitely. and i love um mocking jay's pose and like how she's kind of not facing the camera but her head and right. yeah i definitely like that for sure i was just about to say that too because i really like one thing i hate about female marvel legends hair is that it doesn't it looks yeah. way too stiff and i feel like this actually doesn't look like it's floating you know even though she's yeah. down a little bit it looks like it's actually falling on her shoulders it tastes so i really yes. like this yeah, um, one thing I would adjust um, personally is I think that the poses are all solid. I, I love Spider-Man's pose. So awesome. And I think every pose that's on there is good. But I would like to see some variation between Cap and Wolverine yeah. because they're both solid yeah. poses. But, like, since Wolverine's doing that, I think his makes sense. But, like, maybe have Cap, like, turned, like, pair, like opposite to uh, Mockingbird. So, like, his chest is towards the right and he's looking to, to the say, left. That's the pose I had in my yeah. mind. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? So it's not just, like, it's not like so symmetrical where it's like both of them yep. have their left legs up. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it looks cool. If you aren't even to go that far, I'd say just switch the leg on cap or. Whatever. Oh yeah, sure. That could work too. Yeah. Even, yep. even if you're not going that far as to doing a totally different. Just to thing. add some variation. Cause it looks more like he posed Wolverine and was like, Oh, that looks so good. Let's like try to get it on cap as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did he, did he do a kit bash with the cap? Are those the Marvel now legs? I was going to say, what are the legs? I think those are the Marvel now from the um, cap winter soldier wave. I think. Which actually looks pretty good in my opinion. Actually yeah, they are. Good. The boots are different. I just looked at my cap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice that at first, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I, I think pulling back a little bit, maybe choosing a different color for the background would be good. Dimming the lighting a t or diffusing the lighting a taste on the characters would help. And um, I also think that maybe, I don't know, you, you know, you guys know me in background stuff. I think you could probably print something out that could kind of look like maybe a skyline. Monitor, maybe a TV, yeah. yeah. Say that like a monitor if you have one i'm not saying everybody has you know simon no, no, those type of stuff yeah. but just you know freaking simon try uh to sort of add you for know sure. for yeah, sure but, yep i i think we all can agree like a lot of the stuff is really good maybe just like you said pulling back different uh maybe a different color or just adjusting the hues a little bit because it's everything's yeah. so pink yeah yeah yeah. yeah, white balance is your friend. If you're shooting on a camera, you could really get some cool white balance, um, different hues of white in here and change it up. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't do any of that because I shoot on the phone. But You yeah, do? But, yeah. What oh, phone yeah. do you shoot on? iPhone 10 or X, whatever you want to call it. Really? Yeah, wow. I've, I've, been, I've been shooting on a phone since I started, yeah. What about you, Finn? Do you shoot on a phone or a camera? 
Oh, I shoot on a camera, man. I use the. Uh, I have had a DSLR for like a couple years, like four years, I think. Yes. Yeah, I use the um, Canon T three I Rebel, but I'm upgrading hopefully soon. So that's gonna be really fun. Wow. Yeah, I want to get a oh, camera I'm, at some point, but yeah. I that's mean. awesome. So I did. I could not. You are a great example of how, because are some artists are like, I can't shoot on my phone. It's too hard. This is why my photos look like this. And you're a prime example of an artist that can say, Hey, I shoot on a phone. They that's can really look good. like I can do this. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I, I with it. for sure. Yeah, it's, yeah. And then uh, Finn, want to get into yours? Sure. Mine is by I think I'm pronouncing it right, Geeky Fresh, but like the E's are all threes, so it's Geeky Fresh. Um, he put this yeah. in the tag. Go follow all these people. Like I said, um, yeah. we'll put it yeah. in the description. It'll be sick. Yeah, for um, sure. But so he did a shot of a bunch of Hydra soldiers, which Hydra soldiers like my fave. I love them, so you know I love it. Uh, they're all fighting Genji from Overwatch, which is a super solid figure. Um, and they're basically like in some type of just like diorama. It looks like a tree and some stone behind them and stuff. The, this shot has a lot going for it. But then there's also some things I would tweak. First off, how I said with the honestly with the with the wood shot, pulling back and getting every figure in the in the frame is super important. Yeah. Now that doesn't mean yeah. you can't have figures out of frame because one thing that I like to do say I only have four figures. I'll put two in the frame right next to Genji and then two close to the camera, like how he did, which will get cut yeah. off. And that's totally fine. But if they're near the camera, they're normally just like, you normally just see their legs and stuff like that. I feel yeah, like exactly. there's hands with like weapons poses. and stuff. Oh yeah. Well, I feel like there's just parts of the poses that I'm missing. So I'm not really understanding Ooh, yeah. really what's happening. That's one thing. And then also um, I'd say keep Genji completely in frame. Like the shot is about Genji. So I want to be able to see his weapon and see his head and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah for sure. I've, I've seen so I've seen a few of his photos before. He's he's used to tag quite a lot. Um, and and I actually follow him. I, I actually like some of his work. But one thing I do notice is that a lot of his action shots feel a little tight to me, and that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Where like I feel like I need a little bit more room to breathe. Maybe that's just me. Yeah. So no, I feel it as well. Way. You know, I'd, I mean, that could also work in his favor. Like, oh, yeah, because it's supposed to be a tight fight scene. But for me personally, I feel like it could be a little bit wider spread as far as. Well, yeah, yeah, I completely agree. Having a lot of yeah. figures in a frame and a, in a shot is not bad. But if, if, if everything's visible and you like frame it properly, but if you have even two figures in a shot, but like you can't see all of them, then everything just feels cramped. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, and especially for these back to right hydra and uh, right and left hydragoons, I feel like some artists, including me, I've done this sometimes. Like we try to kind of like maybe put a goon or two out of frame with like guns in their hands to show like it's about to be a fight or something. But the pose on the left and right hydragoons look like they're supposed to be in frame. Like the knife's barely showing, and you can tell yeah. it's like it's a pretty good pose. But we can't really see what's going on, especially with the guy with the right on the all the way on the right in the yellow vest. Like it's really hard to tell what's happening. Is he going for like ducking for cover, like going behind the guy? So like I think a little bit of the I guess action's kind of lost in translation with the really tight crop on this. And then another thing, and I didn't know this when I first started ACBA, is it looks like in the very back, the backdrop is uh, construction paper, which is fine, um, but it doesn't pick up light as well as poster uh, paper does, and that's, again, cheap at dollar stores, so we could get that and maybe brighten up the, the backlight to kind of match the really bright um, white light. Yeah, yeah, I would just say brightening up everything, just like and decreasing yeah. the shadows. I don't know if you guys, I mean, I use Lightroom just to in increase or decrease certain things, not really Photoshop, but like adjust colors. Um, I would a little bit decrease the shadows just a little bit, um, increase the, just increase the light on the blue to make it more, more like sky, like you said. Yeah. I really like the pose on the, the um, Hydragoon on the ground. I really like that a lot. And I really like Genji's pose too. I think the diorama yeah. looks really good. So like th this shot has yeah. a lot going for it. Um, just keep everything in frame like i've said on the other ones um add more light and just like be wary of that kind of stuff you know what i mean do you guys have any other thoughts on this shot no i no, I, th I think we pretty much summed it up for me yeah sweet okay well then after this we can get into our favorite shots of the week who went first yeah. last time i have no idea okay so whoever who wants to go first uh, i guess i can go first okay yeah. Uh, so this photo is by 796 Studios. Uh, he's he's a dope guy, by the he way. Is. He's a great tile builder. He's really cool. He's, he's really nice. And, and 
he he actually takes really dope photos. But I, yeah. I don't know if you guys haven't pulled it up. But it's a shot of the uh, the I think it's the SH Figure Arts Tony Stark. Oh, yeah, with I love the shot so much. in the background. Now I really really like the way the background is lit up. Um, you know me, I like so on point. I really like the lighting on this. I really like also. I'm, with me, I'm not very big on characters that are very blurred out in the background. Because yeah. sometimes I feel like it's kind of like, well, I know who that is, but at the same time, it's like, I can't really see them all that well, you know? Yeah, like I want to see them. Yeah, right. yeah. But with this, it's like Thanos, you, you can tell that it's Thanos and he kind of looks threatening, but we're dialed in on Tony. Like it's actually a moment yeah. where he's injured and, and stuff like that. But you can still tell, like, that's that's obviously Thanos standing back there and he's looking at him. I, I think it also shows his size very well. And I yes. love the bio pieces in the background. Um, yeah. It, it looks great to me. Uh, I, I definitely want to get a dio made by him at some point. But uh, yeah, this this shot is great to me. I think the lighting's very well done. Love I love the pose yeah. on Tony, too. Yeah. Yes. It, it's pretty cool. He really actually looks like he's tuckered out, he's injured, he's tired. Tuckered out. Yeah. <laughs> Tuckered out. Yeah, for sure. Let's be, yeah. I love yeah. the bio. I really, I yeah, really and like I love the contrast between the soft light of the background and the back and the harsh light, which I think is I think this is one of like the like a really good example of where harsh light works because it reflects yeah. the with the metallic armor of Tony really right. well in the foreground versus like the soft background light on Thanos, especially as well in the background. Yeah, but I, yeah, the I really like the shot. I really love the colors of the background. I think he found a way to balance the hues and stuff well that it actually looks really good. Sometimes, you know, like, I don't know if you guys saw my, my Captain America shot where he was jumping out of the, the helicopter. I used the glass technique, but I didn't really like how orange all of that looked. Like, it seemed really mm -hmm. intense. But this, the lighting seems to balance all the colors out very well. For sure. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. 1,000%. Okay. Um, a, do you want to get into yours, bro? Okay, yeah, sure. So, um, again, I'll share it on the screen real fast because that's just the easiest way for me. Yeah, how do you do that? What the heck is that? Yeah. <laughs> so you press like the button to your left. It's a green like screen with an arrow, and it presents uh, to everyone what's on your laptop or whatever you're doing, and then it screen shares it. So yeah. there's a... Uh, <laughs> Of course, the one and only man, uh, Simon Hill, who freaking, oh my god, dude, this man's wild. I don't know how he does this every time, but like this shot is just the prime example of a good, just clean cropped and contained the pose, just the dial pieces, like the AC vent and um, and the lighting yeah, on the outside and the inside, how like the contrast, that orangish hue of whatever he's using as the silhouette. And then yeah. on the outside, the greenish blue lights of the street with like that kind of bright white light in the left corner that's like just kind of showing probably like a street light. I just like love the little attention to detail. And I think it's just, it's such a good yet simple and effective shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I love, I love this shot. I love his work. You know, I, I always catch myself trying to beat him too much and then I kind of calm down yes. like, okay, like, don't rush things. But um, I really like the lighting. I really love the colors. Um, the only, well, I, I, don't, I don't really have a problem with any of this, actually. I, I just really like it. I, I know I just like to critique things immediately, but I really like this shot. I think it looks really great. Yeah, um, definitely. The lighting in the it's window. It's so perfect. I yeah, it's just it feels yeah, just like your shot too with like that back like orangish light. It's just such a simple like tranquil scene inside, and then like the blue and green hue outside just makes yeah. it really uh, pop. Oh yeah, well it's such good choice of colors. How the contrast of the um the orange like inside mixed with like the blues and greens like it's it's beautiful. I love it. I yes, love the choice exactly. of yeah. colors and stuff like that. Yeah, the angle on the frame it really looks like he's actually just hanging on the wall there. Even though yeah. he's probably just sitting flat on his desk, but it really, I really love yeah. the angle. I really need to get some dios that look like the outside of buildings because I really want to do shots like this where it's just yeah chilling mm -hmm. with some with some great colorful lighting and stuff like that. You know me, I, I really like colors on certain uh, setups and stuff, so this looks great. Yeah, we know you, Alex. Don't worry, we know you. <laughs> yeah, you and awesome. yeah, and then um, one more section, just real like for off topic. Um, Finn, we're gonna get into yours. Just we should. Yeah. I kind of want to talk about our Dio stuff 
after this, just a little bit. Sure. Before we um start wrapping, but Finn, let's get into your stuff. Definitely. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna put mine on the screen. How I do this? Let me try it. Hold on. Uh, screen okay. <laughs> Green uh, lap to. Yep. There you go. You had it. Okay. You gotta yep. it, click present to everyone in the top. Okay. It should go on. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now it's on my screen. I think. Okay. Do it I was. see it now? No. Yes. Or yeah. I did. Yeah, you I have to click it. the present to everyone on the screen. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to uh, show up when you're oh, talking. Wait, where's the present to everyone? I'm sorry. I'm, we're figuring this out right now. very top uh, around there so when you're on your sharing. Google Hangouts thing. Uh, I, can see it. It. I can see it Maybe now. I can, oh, I can and see it now. I just got to click your name. We're good. Can you see it now? I, I can, can see it now. I just had to click your name. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. Can you guys cool. see what's on my screen now? The oh, wait, no. Not anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, you know, I don't care anymore. Screw the freaking okay, yeah. Share your it's screen. Fine. It's fine. Basically, it's fine. um, I did a sh- I picked the shot that's really recent. I'm not sure exactly what day it is. Oh, um, mine was, was two from, hours ago. Recent. Oh, it's from, yeah, like three hours ago. Uh, it's yeah. by Bear Trap. So Bear underscore Trap. It's the shot of Jason. Um, he's like outdoors. There's a bunch of fog behind him. Greens. Everything. Everything about this shot is like so appealing like you can even see the little water on the droplets on jason like the the egg i think he probably used atmosphere aerosol or whatever but like the fog in the background everything about like the framing is perfect i love the deep greens like the colors oh it's so good i just i just love it i love the um i love jason's pose i mean i think the lights hitting him just perfectly i think it's great yeah, it looks really eerie yeah. too, and that's one thing that I really yeah. like. The location it kind of creeps me out more so than the figure. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. something about the figure right now. I don't know why he looks like he has no neck. That might just be the figure. That has nothing to do yeah. with the shirt. Yeah, for but sure. But I really like the location. It looks mint. And this is also a great example of backlight working effectively because he also has a top light shining on Jason, whether it's natural light or it's his own studio light. Yeah. It's a great example of the backlight hitting that like tree branch to his left and like making it seem like it's actually coming from above rather than like underneath and like showing more of like a natural sunshine and like eerie look, like you guys were saying. For sure. Yeah. Well, Bear Trap's lighting and colors are always perfect. Like he's one of my favorite artists who does this stuff. I mean, yeah. It's like his Michael Myers shot from a couple of days ago or whatever um, with yep. Judith Myers grave. Like it's just yeah. his, the way he does depth of field stuff, like it must be at like 1.4 or something. Like it's crazy for that shot. I love it. I love every, all the stuff he does for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's for pretty sure. much it. I mean, I just think, I think the colors, I think nailing like the correct colors. I'm even still trying to learn some of that stuff, but like, I think he uses the rule of thirds really effectively too. Like, Everything about it's perfect. That's all I got to say. Yeah. 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 All right. You said you wanted to get into Dio stuff before yeah, we sign just, off? Yeah. Because I'm just curious because being like a collector and an artist as like a younger person, this is kind of the reason I really want to start this podcast is like to talk about it from our perspective because we're like, we're younger, like cats, you know, doing this and, yeah. um, and collecting and stuff. Like Alex was saying, a lot more broke than the people that have really for sure. You know, for sure jobs. And so I just was wondering, Finn, do you make your pieces? Alex, do you make your pieces? Do you buy them? Like that kind of stuff. It's a good question. I mean, um, me, I started making them all. I still make them all. I do like I'll get squares, pretty much of foam, and then like paint them like that, so they're kind of like modules, so I can like c- combine yeah. like and use different ones for different things. Um, I started making them. I haven't made one in a while. I really need to because I, I feel like I've really improved in a lot of that stuff. But then I have a rooftop dial. It's like my one of my two big dials, like a rooftop and a like almost like a can, like like a warehouse like thing that has like a door and like yeah. a big metal grate kind of thing. It's really sick. I got both of those from at Thirds World on Instagram. It's like instead of the I, it's the three. But yeah. yeah, he hooked me up with both of those and they're super awesome. But mostly I just make like walls and then like make little bricks yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. With me, I, I, I haven't, I want to, but I haven't really started making anything. When I first joined the group, I used to have these two pieces of thin cardboard with papers I got from Michael's on them. It looked horrible. I remember those. <laughs> they were always crooked. And it, it was horrible. But um, the dial that I use pretty much the only dial that I use is uh, one I got from a guy on Instagram called Toyographer. Uh, he made a little like apartment complex, some apartment walls and stuff. I've been using that a bunch, but uh, the only other setups I do is either that or I'll 
sometimes put trees and stuff and I'll make like yeah. a forest and stuff like that. Uh, just recently I found something that I cut up to kind of make it look like a chain link sort of fence or whatever that yeah. I, I used in a Punisher shot I just recently posted. But yeah, I really want to start making some of my own stuff. Uh, obviously it's not going to be that good. You know, I, I want to make some rocks yeah. and stuff. Like even the, the shot I talked about by 796 yeah. Studios, you know, the big pointing sort of yeah. rock-like things. I want to make stuff like that because I think that would be easy to make and that would help me just sort of yeah. use the same stuff over and over again. That's been an issue I've been having with a lot of my shots is that, well, I mean, I'm using the same stuff, so it looks like they're in the same place, you know. I've, I've tried different types of backgrounds. Like, I don't know if you guys saw the the bullseye shot I did with uh, the sort of plastic around him and he was yeah, using yeah, the yeah. You know, yeah. I've, I've been trying different stuff like that, looking at other people's stuff to see what's doable. But uh, yeah. one thing I um one thing I suggest, two things. Um, I, I'm glad you kind of moved away from the uh, the, the uh, what was the subway terminal thing called? Was yeah, the, the stream sets. Yeah, yeah, the extreme sets. You did a, you do a great job to that. It's just so much of one thing. I mean, obviously, like you know, but like you stepped away from it, and I think I think going back to that every once in a while is not bad at all. And I yeah. think I would love to see you do what you did with your scorpion photos and like your Kratos photos, like darkroom stuff. Yeah, I think you could really get into some like, really deep blacks. I think those would look really sick. Yeah, the, yeah. the reason I haven't I haven't done the the extreme set stuff is because. Uh, I've tried to go back to them with certain setups, but a lot of times the light hits it the wrong way and that kind of irritates me a little bit. But also it's because for me, there's only so much that seems feasible to do in a subway that it kind of, you know, I feel like people have used it so much that I feel like the ideas have been taken a little bit. And I'm not big on just people fighting in a subway station because I think that's a little yeah. too easy. But um, yeah, there's other ones that I have, like a like a sewer that I've used before. I, the uh, the bullseye shot that I did where he was throwing the car through the guy's head, that was one set up. Oh, yeah. oh really dude, cool. that's like your best shot too. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been yeah. able to match that, which which is crazy because you know I've told you this before, Finn, that I I didn't feel like that was all that great of a shot. That's I mean, how I it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it always is. You're always always the, here's how it is with me every time i'm like uh this shot's all right but i think some people like it so i guess i'll post it anyways that shot like blows up and then i'm like but the shots that i'm like dude i'm so excited about this this is gonna be amazing yeah, like it gets no yeah. love <laughs> yeah yeah but I, I definitely want to do more deep black stuff as well it's just sometimes i feel like the better i get the lazier some stuff i used to do seems yeah. So a lot of the deep black stuff, I feel like, I, but you just sat a figure in front of it. Like, not a whole lot of people are going to want to see that, you know. I always get into my head a little bit too much with certain I feel stuff. that. But then again, like, if you have just a plain color, like, if you pose and, like, orchestrate the figure really well, it helps the figure really stand out and stuff like that. Yeah, I think – oh, sorry, what were you about to say? Oh, I, I was just going to say, but, yeah, I have – kind of creep back to that stuff like the pennywise shot i did where it was just a white hot background with the with the streaks yeah, and yeah. Oh, color yeah. and stuff like that i've tried going back to that type stuff or even like that like tony stark shot you did where it was like had all the the, the hall of armor where you're like working on the hand or whatever you know what yeah. i'm talking about that one yeah. i'd love to see you try stuff like that i think my favorite shots you've done are actually the black bolt one where he's screaming yeah <laughs> that's yeah. so underrated like that one did not get enough love <laughs> yeah again that was one a lot of times i think the stuff that i'm really excited about aside excited about i can't even speak i'm like hey, you're, good. you're good <laughs> the stuff i'm really excited about um takes more work and then i post it not a lot not a lot of people like it but then i do stuff like the black bolt shot or the bullseye shot where it was like literally two seconds and everyone's like oh oh my gosh oh what is this i'm like what you know <laughs> so good yeah exactly the shot that blew up in the group that i was actually really excited about was the first one that i had blow up which was bullseye hitting the guy with the bat yeah uh, okay. yeah the bloody bat yeah 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 that that was the first one that i was actually really excited about and it did blow up a bit but yeah i'm, I'm definitely trying to creep back to some of my older stuff i've been looking just the other day i was looking at some of my older shots and i was thinking man first off i used to have so much more fun with this hobby than i do now Oh, that's also, sad. Why yeah. not anymore? I mean, I do have a ton of fun with it, but it's just back then I didn't know any better. So somebody yeah. wasn't touching the ground or anything. I was just doing it. Gotcha, you know, so gotcha. There's a part of me that just wants to just do it again. You know, I did a lot more action, and that was because some of the poses weren't as refined, but the lighting was pretty decent. You know, I want to do more action stuff, but it takes a lot yeah. more time. I feel like I need more practice in those areas. 
but yeah, not not to not to get away from from the Dio discussion, but, but no, yeah, yeah. I, I'm hoping to creep back to that to that type. Yeah. Stuff. How about you, man? It- um, I make everything. I will like okay. Hobby Lobby, I get like kitchen stuff, you know, and like the couch stuff. But other than that, like wall wise, like I make, I try to make everything. And I think I have a bad habit of getting really excited. So, like, let's say I see like a Simon Hill photo and he's using like these like grungy wallpaper pieces. I'm like, oh my God, I need wallpaper walls. So, like, <laughs> dial wise, I don't make a lot of dioramas per se, but like I make a lot of pieces. So, like, a lot yeah. of walls with like wallpaper, hardwood floors like concrete stuff that don't really go to a certain dial that are just like Finn said modular that kind of can be flip, uh, flexed in and out to yeah. like work. So yeah, so I try to get as much as I can like done and it's, I'm getting better with the brick I think now and I haven't done a brick piece in a little bit and um because they also take so much time but interior is mainly what I've been trying to kind of build my hand at like the like you guys probably saw the kitchen stuff that i got from hobby lobby and then the wallpaper i uh, made um with just some foam and then uh like the table i used i made out of just some balsa wood because and i made that that night because i was just like i need a table and like as you guys know a lot of like the really good tables everyone has like the desks come with like the diamond select figures mm-hmm. and i just don't see myself like kind of right now buying like a 30 dollar figure for just like right. the table so i just yeah. kind of threw together some wood pieces that i had around and made a table and it works fine and so yeah so i just kind of try to do that and again being younger it's like harder to make a lot of the diorama pieces so that's why i was wondering what you guys did oh and then like prop wise i try to do that again the same so like cardboard boxes newspapers money i try to make and the same with like i made a dumpster like a couple weeks ago and a chain link fence just out of some gutter mesh and i like them a lot i just haven't really had the opportunity to use them but yeah yeah, I definitely ha- would have to like hit you up on like how to make the boxes and stuff because I really need some. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'll be looking yeah. at oh, oh, yeah. Hugs photos, and it'll just be a black background, but he has props that just fill it up. Yeah, so everywhere. Like, it'll just be a box or a crate or something. I'm like, I need a box yeah. and a crate. You know, yeah, I exactly, that, dude. Right, like the crates and like just. I mean. Let me see if I can pull it up real fast just to talk about it. But the Punisher, I'm pretty sure you guys know the one, but the Punisher photo he did of like him in the um in just like the house yeah, him with sitting. all the guns on the table. Oh yeah, dude, that's classic, bro. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god. All like just like the crates underneath and just everything he has in that shot is insane. And yeah. it's just there's so much stuff. And it's like, it's all, and like, it's not, there's also a level of, I have it on my screen now. There's also like a level of too much that you can put in a shot if you're like really excited about props, but he does right. it really effectively and um mm-hmm. really well Definitely. to the degree of that. Let me see. Okay. I think I did. um Where is it? There. Oh, so can you guys see it? Yeah. Yeah. I love, I freaking yeah. love that shot. That was actually one of the inspirations for the shot I posted last night. I don't know if you guys saw that. With a uh, daredevil coming in, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Now I love that, that shot. That shot, I wish I could have done a few things better, but um, but yeah, on on the dial discussion, Aiden, you were actually one of the people that has been kind of making me want to make my own stuff because the shot you did with uh, Mary Jane and Venom, I oh, saw yeah, yeah. that I shot's saw, awesome. Yeah, I saw the <laughs> seaside for that shot, and I was like, oh, that looks so. You know, when you look at the photo, you think, oh, he's probably got some sort of whole dollhouse set up that he yeah. uses for this. But when you look at the seaside, it's like, oh, dude, I could probably make something like that, you know? Yeah, and it's amazing. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I just had, I mean, my hardwood floor is not amazing because it was just an experiment piece I did a while ago. But, I mean, just like the prop-wise, I mean, the Spider-Man mask was from like a Marvel Select figure, the same with the camera. And just like the little stuff, which I like doing is like kind of concentrating like the small quantities I have into like a small area. And then Boog does it where it's on a grander scale because he has more dial pieces and then I like don't have as many pieces. So I try to kind of like take it a little more, I guess, um, cropped a little more, but hopefully try to like showcase a little more like pieces. For sure. And one thing I will say about both Boog and Adam one thing, I, I don't know if it's just because I'm using a phone, but I love the way they frame their shots. Yeah, I, same. I don't want to frame it like them because, like, for instance, the shot I took last night, there was things all over the table in front of Frank, right? A lot of yeah. times, because I, I tilt my phone up a little bit to kind of help with depth, I can't, you know, get all the things that are on the table in view. 
You know, you're kind of looking at it from yeah. the side a little bit at a lower level. A lot of times I want you to see the top of the table a little bit, like in Boog's photo or Adam's photo that he did with Punisher um, sitting at a table as well. And yeah. I, I just really want to, I want to like look at like, okay, but like, how are yeah. you framing? Is it just my phone or is it something that yeah. I can actually accomplish? You know? Yeah, I completely feel you there for sure. Definitely. Well, I think that pretty much wraps up our Dio segment. You guys have anything else you guys want to talk about? Say it on the Dio stuff. Um, no, I, I think yeah, we're good. Yeah, awesome. covered it. Definitely. This has been a really fun time, guys. I uh, thank you guys so much for joining us, everyone who's been listening. Um, yeah, yep. Thank you all so much for joining us for the episode one of the Shutterbugs podcast. I want to thank my co-hosts Alex and Aiden. It's been so much fun. Of course. Um, yeah. Definitely. You guys have anything you want to plug real fast, just to yeah, wrap it um, up? I haven't plugged me. I'm at Finn Aiden on Instagram, so it's at F I N N A I D A N um, on Instagram. I post a lot of fun stuff like that. You guys? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, at Alex N. Richardson. I said that earlier. Um, that's pretty much on Instagram. Yeah, that's pretty much the only place you can find me. I don't really do anything else. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then um, for me, I'm at a one underscore groundwalker. Again, one of these podcasts, I'll have to explain the origin behind that name. But yeah. um, it's not even that one. But um, and and then on YouTube, this will this is already on YouTube, I guess. And then the edited version will go on YouTube as well. And then um, we'll be making a SoundCloud account shortly called uh, Shutterbugs. Yep. And, and the same will probably on, uh, Apple Podcasts as well. Yep, exactly. And uh, one thing, I, another thing I will plug, uh, go follow the uh, the Shutterbugs IG account. Yeah. It's, it's at Shutterbugs Podcast. Um, there, you know, you'll see people that we've critiqued and featured. We'll, we'll be posting about them as well. And we'll also post updates on when a new episode is out. So, yeah, go follow that. Yeah. For sure. Yep, and I'm always post. We're always trying to post, like, stuff on our stories about using the... Um, hashtag so if you want to have your photos shout it out post it other places and critique and stuff like that tag them you know what i mean reach yes. out to us it's gonna be super fun i'm excited to see where this all yeah. this stuff is gonna go you know what i mean definitely yeah definitely yep but for for the rest of the night pretty much we'll see you all next week but until then keep taking good toy picks and be good people have a good night guys